Man's preed every single person that works at represent. Mm. <laughs> Followed literally, them. Literally. Yo, I took a picture in front of the represent sign. So I posted that picture and I followed everyone. But what? You're there? Follow, 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 follow. Commenting, liking. You're going to be aware of my presence. You know them ones. Mm. So then I hit up. Um, the hunger. I hit up Jodeci. She's got a shoulder. Um, I shadowed her a couple of times. And mm. I was just like, how do I get myself out there? I, was, I didn't even re- really remember. How that. old are you at this time, by the way? At this point? 16, like, 16, going 17. 16, you're yeah. hungry as fuck. You're hollering bad different people working at this one company. Uh, do you know what it was, yeah? Um, my boy died, didn't he, when I was 16. Mm. And that's when I really even. deeped, yeah, like, mm. were mm. taking, like, I'm not dying fam or if i'm like i'm i'm not going out like this i'm mm. i know that there's more to mm. to me than the ends and all of yeah. that i can i can feel the hunger in you i appreciate that i can that, feel man. that like even now i'm like oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> i can it's feel genuine, it man. It's genuine, so, man. And, and i love it and it feels like to me it's like we're just getting started you've done something you've done something so major already mm. like bro you have run a campaign you guys hit a million views on your first campaign. Like, that's cold, that's crazy bro. Still. Like, now nah, yeah, I'm saying, cool. like, but even going back to that now, yeah. How did that feel, bro? Accomplishing that, I was happy because I, I, I'm always some. I've always had the idea of what we've created here is not something that's like happened overnight. I've thought about this since like 2016, 2017. Wow. But yeah. at the time, I always felt like. I I I'm, I love it the way it's, the way it's gone about. It's perfect the mm. timing. But at the time, I always felt like. One, I didn't really know how to put it out there as much. Mm. Obviously, I used to do, I was doing radio to kind of get myself through the door and just, but that's not mm. really my personality. I'm not really mm. the type of, like, or, or is yeah, you like you, I, can't, like, in way. I, 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 I am to an extent, like, I like to keep to myself, like, people that I fuck with or people that I'm comfortable with, nah, I can have, yeah, I can yeah, be yeah, chill, I see, but I I'm not it. like a, I, I, I don't want to put myself out there, like, my personality out there or no, just, hey, that's, oh, cool. that's, okay. just, that's just the type of person I am, innit? Nah, I feel so, you, bro. I forced myself a bit out of my comfort zone to do that. Mm, and then you. I felt like, okay, I'm not really liking this as well. Mm. So let me fall back. Mm. And then I was, I got to a point, I would say in the pandemic where I felt like I couldn't, like this was a dream. Mm. It wasn't going to happen. Like, mm. oh, it could have worked out. Yo, we're back again. Come on, come you have on. Another, you have another, another, another special guest. We're here with the one and only Clayton. Yo, yo, yo. Introduce us, man. Who we're are in you, the bro? building, Celsius Europe. Yes, yes. What was Celsius Europe first? Tell of us, fam. For the people that don't know, we're well, we going straight in. Yeah, straight yeah. in, straight in, fam. There's a creative marketing branding agency. You know, it's built to like just break artistic boundaries. Any creatives like oh, dying in their infancy stages or whatever, like. Mm. we've put a team together like we have a hub so much experience between all of us so we kind of just want to share the fruits of our labor cool. and so. just elevate people and while we're doing while we're elevating people also like having an impact on our culture for the next generation i love that i love that, that. I love that. That's, real shit. that's what we're about we're that's talk, obviously about. on the pod yeah we like to really take it back with our guests so obviously like where did it all begin like tell us about your upbringing uh upbringing like um uh grew up in Gasco and you know barking, okay. like ten years moved to Dagenham. <laughs> See, sir. Wait, yeah, what? Yeah. You did barking first. I lived in Barking at St Joseph's Primary School. Barking, oh, yeah. no, I'm laughing because obviously, we, basically, guys, we actually all know each other. Same yeah, school, school together, like innit? So I always thought Clay and grew up in Dagenham. So when I hear bark, I'm like, eh? what? I rep it hard, didn't it? I rep it hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> alright, alright, yeah. But, all right. yeah. What was the household like? Like what? What was it like, bro? Uh, the parents, barking siblings. at the time. I'm from one of them families where I have hella, like, my dad has hella youths in it. So. Ah, I feel you, I feel you. I feel but you. at home, yeah, going back in, it was just me and my bro, Dale, and it. Oh, okay. He's five years older than me. My mm. house burned down when I was, like, eight. They we could laugh about it now, then. yeah. One of them ones. But, shit. So then I moved to Dag. When I moved to Dag, yeah, I was, like, eight. That's when I really realised. I also had a half-brother from that that lived in Dag in a minute. So. Okay. That's mad. So one of them ones. When I moved to Dag, people kind of already knew who I was. Yeah. But that's when I really realised, whoa, like... Life is real, like yeah, mm. yeah like I hear it. that was kind of the change from being a child and shit. Well, wait, you up. see, even with your house burning, was that like a life changing thing for you? Mm. Or you, you like, know what? Oh, yeah. The way, do you know what? The way what happened when we was little, 
I was them type of kids, like, things will happen and I won't process it. Maybe, like, mm. 10 oh, years yeah, later, yeah, I'm like, raw, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, at the time, no, it was just like, raw, there's a fire. It was mad. It was even my mum's birthday, yeah. It was like, <laughs> now after, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's... So that's we blew the cake and that. Like, we can laugh about that. Yeah, auntie, no disrespect. We love you. Yeah, we blew the cake and that. Next, now, I'm getting woken up at, like, 3 a.m. Like, yo, what? fire on that. Just got out of there. Fuck. Yeah, it's all it is. Damn. <laughs> That's brazy, I can't lie to That's you. That's very brazy. But alright, cool. So even now, all right, going back a bit more into you now. Yeah. Alright, we know you have a marketing agency agency. How long have you had that for? Um unofficially I'd say August last year, but officially we registered in like April. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay officially. Yeah. Alright, cool. This April, twenty twenty two. Yeah, twenty twenty two. Alright, cool. So before that now, I know I don't know if you guys know, but even before his marketing agency, Clayton was on this musical journey. From what I remember, he was on radio doing presenting there, right? Yeah. Mm. Alright, let's talk on that. Like, what, how did that all begin, bro? Uh, I've always been someone that's like heavy into music media, like from young. Mm. I used to watch like Breakfast Club, Angie Martinez, all of that. Shout out to Ebro, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. I was hard on all of that stuff. Pause. So then, <laughs> when, <laughs> so when it actually. So I always felt like, oh, I could make content like this because I always, not as much now, but back then I used to always look at the US like they're light years ahead of us. Okay. So, and also I spent a lot of time in France growing up and I just saw how their music and culture was growing. They had artists like Booba, Le Fouin, that mm. past gen. Oh, okay. So, and I saw how their radio, how they had so much impact on the radio, like on a mainstream basis, innit? So mm. I always felt like the UK was lacking that and I was like, let me kind of... Shed light on UK artists, oh, try and good. push them through and stuff. Yeah, but and I yeah. saw you do that. Like with used to have what Clay's homegrown talent, mm. and yeah, yeah. I saw you pushing underground artists, even people that you're kind of like linked with. Like I remember, I actually checked out the playlist, didn't I? I've seen yeah. Vils from yeah. what New England, like pe- yeah. people like that. I'm not saying he's low key, but he's still not. Know yeah. what I mean, so I I get, could, like gave millions their first interview. His first interview still. This way. Yeah. Um, we take millions. Yeah, yeah, bam. Ah, let's talk on that, bro. What HDC. The uh, last one he done HDC. Say swear. Him, yeah. I know that store. Say swear. I didn't know that. Yeah, man, I was blowing him up. I was like, yo, yo, yo. Like, ask him the questions. Obviously, I drop him on Friday, so I like to get everything patterned the day yeah, before. That's cool. that. so, man's hit him up. He was like, yeah, I'll do it, but he was stalling. I know man was being so jarring, bro. Shit. Like, how long, how long, how long? Gave me the answers. Slapped it up, still, yeah. Shit. Like, with that, I wouldn't. Like, that was kind of just a hobby for me, you know. I was in uni okay. at the time. I was bored. I wasn't really being as creative as much as I could have. And I was just like, you know what? What can I really do to that? Kind of show what, push the the agendas that I want to push in terms of UK artists. Yeah. Kind of shedding light on them, and also okay. something that can help me, like get my name through yeah, the door yeah, and correct. build relationships and stuff. Mm. That was the right stuff. Build, talking on, even I'm talking on building relationships. Mm. Yeah, I remember. You was even like, what was it, on Capital at some point? Um, yeah, no, I shadowed Rob um, Rob Bruce a couple of times. Big up Rob Bruce, man. He's he's from Dagenham as well. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. know that. Um, when I first started out in the radio thing, um, like you know how the music industry is. It's like getting into it is a lot of like gatekeeping. Yeah, mm-hmm. hiki yeah, haka, yeah. yeah so, all that. Yeah. yeah, you know what it was. So what I was getting in, I did, I'm the type of person I am. I'm so like. I want to learn. I want to. Like, I ask you a million questions. Yeah, I want to like. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people didn't really like that energy from me. I hear it yeah. now because if someone were coming to me the way I was coming to people, I'd be yeah, annoyed. You're hungry, well. bro. Mm. Yeah, but Rob was one of them guys that took me in. Me and Tobes from the jump. Like, but how? Well, even not to cut you off. Even yeah. Rob Bruce. How did you now connect with him? Like, how did that happen? Instagram, you know. Like, they swear. I was a pest on Instagram. Like the way, the way I am when I want to learn something or if I want to get into something, mm. I will really like dig in, really pre everyone. Yeah, like that's how I am. And wow. I, I I followed him. He's followed me back. And I was just liking up his stuff and that. You just kind of seen what I was doing. And I've DM'd him like, oh, I can't lie, I rate your thing, bears, innit? Yes, and yeah, one of them ones, he took just me to DM church. Thing. Yeah, he took me to church. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, he went church, after church, went radio. <laughs> Why did he take you to church? It was a Sunday, innit? I wanted to Hello, go with him. He picked me up in the morning. You? 17, you know. Right. 17, I was in, I was in sixth form. Young. Yeah, and at the time, I really respect him because at the time... I was really trying to figure myself out. That's the kind of the age where a lot of people think, like a lot of people go left and that people yeah, want to go in jail, yeah, people yeah, pass yeah, away yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, cool. I kind of want to do something that can get me out of the hood. Yeah. 
and I kind of want to be true to myself at the same time. Mm. And he was one of the first guys that kind of just passed me that olive branch. That's cool. YBE as well, J House's DJs, they they're the first guys that put me on radio as well. Represent. Yeah, big up them. Big dope, up them. Man. Yeah. Big up YBE. Big, big up, up you, Rob man. Reese, man. Damn Shack as well. Damn. Shmans FM. Damn, you know what? Yeah, just from hearing this alone, it's only been what five minutes, bro. Mm. But even just from hearing saying you're the pest, clearly you're inquisitive. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, if you want something, you're 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 kind of that's, that's the hustler's mentality, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna go through that tunnel, whether it's 100%. dark or light, and I respect that. So now I want to now know, like, where did that come from, from? Like that, just the hunger, the hustle. Yeah, like yeah. your hustler's mentality. Where did it come uh, from? Pff, all right, cool. Uh, firstly, I'd say Fifty Cent. You know. Like, so? that was my favourite rapper ever, and at number mm. one. The way I was with 50 Cent, like, I had the game bulletproof. I had, like, a couple... Like, <laughs> the the headband. The China man come to the shop one time, yeah. my mum was doing a nails. <laughs> he had his movie, I was like, mum, bro, you got to grab this. Yo, like, Gary said that time. Yeah, yeah. Like, that movie is fine, me too. So that, like, I've always just... I've pre this thingy when he signed that Vitamin Water deal, yeah. 400 million, mm. Coca-Cola, just a lot, lot of ventures, how he, like, monetized G-Unit, he built it, because he's lying to Shady, Shady like, he's lying to m and yeah, 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 yeah. Eminem. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Eminem is signed to Dre. Dre, Dre yeah. has his own entity as well. So it's like to put yourself in a position where you're on a mo- your mogul status while mm-hmm. being signed to a nigga that's signed to another nigga. Like, yeah, it's crazy. That's not easy, right? And also, also as well with 50 and then Cent. He's brought his boys in as well. Yeah, Lloyd, yeah, 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 yeah. So I always looked at that. I was like, I would love to create something like that. Mm. And then um, also in the ends, I had a boy... Um, my boy A1, mm. that guy was the first guy that just showed man there, yeah, like, I can make one pound to two pound. That yeah, guy, that's like, my bro. They you know that was like, yeah, um, you, bro. like he, he'd bring in sandwiches in school that he's made from yard mm. and, be, and he'd eat it in front of you. Oh, yum, me. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he knew how to market <laughs> something, bro. Yum, me. Yeah, oh, this yeah. is slapping. Fuck, I wish I had. Oh, I've got another one. Oh, let me get one. You mm. know how he's in school. Yeah, 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 yeah 50p, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, and you want to like, You're going to grab it. You're loving it. I've linked him in the morning one day, yeah, that, a couple of weeks after. Yeah. I'm seeing my man preparing it in the kitchen, chopping up the chicken, yeah. getting the wraps. I'm thinking, raw, right? And he's like, he's he's funding chicken and chips. As long yeah. as you have kings after school, you're good. You're like, good, bro. He's Back funding then. chicken and chips. I'm thinking, oh, raw. Like, yeah, so from man. there, there was a couple of orders in the ends as well. There's another A1, huge. Like, mm. he was, he's someone that really inspired me because I had a conversation with him actually recently mm. about He's someone that really inspired me because he was like one of the first guys. Because there was a lot of guys in Dagenham in the ends that not no disrespect or nothing, but they you know like they, just, they were on the peace thing. But yeah. in terms of like just what we're doing on a legitimate scale or whatever, there wasn't really yeah, there. Yeah, he was yeah, the yeah, first example there. of that. Like right, yeah. he's he went to uni, yeah, he's doing good. this, he's yeah. doing that, and I was like, right, that's like there's Wait, more to life outside. Did, did, of did that open your stuff. eyes to think? Yeah, that opened your eyes, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. Because it was like that made me really deep. Like yeah, like. There's more there's to more life. There's bro. things like, it, bro, yeah. we can really actually do this, Win. get out. Because that was always like a dream. It'd be like something your parents want you to do. And yeah. you're like, can I really do this stuff? Like, yeah. yeah. Damn. So, That's nah, amazing. I respect bro. that. Respect it, That's amazing. But even talking on like cool A1 for example yeah. doing up sandwiches obviously that's like that was probably one of his first few ventures yeah. mm. now talking on ventures now what would you say was your first ever venture if you, if you have one before Celsius Europe? Like just what as a kid growing up and it could be yeah kids even uh, could right, be selling so lollipops anything bro cool straight Morrison's 8 o'clock you know you line up there <laughs> yes you know. first of all you, you get know. your ribs of fire yeah. straight ah, make a breast <laughs> get yeah, I know but that's the, for the fact that was eating that with Lucas in the <laughs> morning nah, 7, 8 a.m. and then you have the chewing gum 15 yeah, so, nuts, yeah, so the chewing gum yeah is what you used to pay innit you know the man fit it back then <laughs> And on top of that, like, obviously, I don't recommend this. This is not nothing that Celsius <laughs> Europe stands for at all. At I do all. not stand for this. Likewise, if I'm just a podcast. product of my environment. You feel me? <laughs> Fam, you know we hit them licks, man. Bad <laughs> You know, no, you no, have no, all no. of that it's and you sell those, isn't it? Don't forget, little, like, don't forget little too, yeah, man. Yeah, that, that's, that's literally what... That was, I'll say that was my first little, like, okay. way of making peas, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. So that was your first venture, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Right, cool, then. Now, going back to Celsius Europe now. Cool. Just in case anyone's forgot, mm. marketing agency first event, first campaign. Sorry, that was what what year? Oh. Um, that, that was twenty twenty one, isn't it? Yeah, twenty twenty one. End of twenty twenty one. Alright, cool. DTG. Yeah, yeah. You worked with DTG and Toby Jizzle. Yeah. yeah. From what I know of DTG, he's a two times uh platinum selling artist, major. Oh, that's dope, that's major, that? fam. Well, he, I think he's nominated yeah. for a Brit as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah Toby yeah. Jizzle, mad. Content creator, yeah, man. Yeah, he's major. Doing his thing, fam. fam yeah. First of all, before you even get into the whole process, yeah, how did you man even link up? 
Oh, uh, bro, just the internet, you know, LinkedIn. Um, I done, I done a quick little, um, like I done a TikTok. I created like a little TikTok strategy for um Simba and that. Big oh, up before, them, and, yeah, yeah, I did okay. that like in the summer. That was me as an individual, wasn't it? Like I used to just like playing do, about. I always did things like had little projects, and I'd be like, I'd go up to people that I know are in positions where they, you know they can make things happen, or they got okay. a bit of influence. And I was just like, you should do this, you should do that. So. I bucked them at the studio Optimizer. one day. No, I told them, like, I've just given them a strategy. And I was, they were like, yeah, but the way I've pitched the strategy to them, like, I didn't have no plan. I've just mm. said to them, yeah, oh. I can pattern you yeah, this, this, yeah, this, this. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, yeah, sure. I didn't yeah. expect the yeah. Because oh, I always, shit. you know, so I now, get like, turned down so many times. I'm like, oh, cool, yeah, oh, we're going to go hard. And at the time, I just finished um, my internship with TikTok. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk I was like, too. I was really like, I was in the mix. I was so in the loop with TikTok. I understood the algorithm, certain things that would, you get. So I made them a strategy and it buzz. This way. And then what, I posted it. Like, what's, what's like, in terms of like, views and stuff? I'll like. say like just over 500,000. But at the time, for me, that was like, whoa, this nah, works, isn't crazy, it? Fam. So that's what Simba. Yeah, this was Simba at the time. So um, we had a whole day together, went to a shoot. And also the day that we went to a shoot, this is crazy. I found this out a bit later. Um, as well, there was another agency like shoot that we went to um, oh, okay. for A One and J One. Big up them, man. Yeah. Mm. But they were doing like a little day thing, little campaign for them. And I was like, I didn't wow. really deep at the time, like how far this can go, in it yeah. at the time. So and them man are in the charts as well, in it. Yeah. So crazy. Um, yeah, when I did I did Simba's one, I posted it on LinkedIn, like the results. Yeah. And DTG's manager um, Amidi hit me up, and he was like, Oh, can you do it for us, man? We got a single coming up. Da da da. Just and uh, like that. I was like, yeah, bet. Got on the phone to him, told me the strat, like what he was looking for, his audience type of people. He gave me a list of like everyone I was going to be there at the video mm. shoot. So I was like, cool. Mm. Got to the video shoot. Even that day, I was so sick, bro. Like, well, literally, like, like physically. yeah, yeah. I was so unwell. Damn. I was like, like Tobes was doing the mobiles. Um, my partner was doing the mods, the oh, mobile oh, was oh, after party, yeah. Oh, okay. And um, I was meant to roll with him, but I was so unwell. I was like, no, nah, I can't even come. Mm. Went to the shoot. We flew to London from Coventry. I flew to London. He came a bit later. Um, paid. I didn't even get paid to do it. Innit? Like. Um, just you know them ones like fuck it let me just charge mm, it just opportunity in yeah, there so charge it charge it flew it <laughs> charge it in there <laughs> so, charge it uh, paid 250 for a camera like someone to document Sorry. what we're doing Whoa. yeah and then pssst, went there gave him the strategy done like a couple videos and it just blew up right. and like the, the TikTok side of things blew up and on yeah. top of that afterwards the song did quite well yeah. for, for itself as well and I was just like that's when that was the first official project for us because I was always like, yeah, we're doing this. After the Simba one, I was like, this is it, we're doing it, yeah. we're doing it. Yeah. And that was like the booking that just came and was like, okay, yeah. this is real. It, it set you off as well. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Even to slow things down, yeah, mm. like I realised like even with the concept you guys used for TikTok, like, mm. uh, for example, the Bing Bong challenge, yeah. uh, look up, the looking, there's one looking game, someone looks at another person, they're out in there. Yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I love, yeah, because yeah, I'm looking at your mission statement, yeah, and you guys were saying, obviously, not word for word, mm. but literally, I remember I saw on your mission statement, you were saying something like, oh, um, stretching out an artist, like getting out more of them, basically, yeah, yeah, something yeah, like pushing that. Pushing artistic boundaries. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it, yeah. But, yeah. And literally, I see that in fruition straight away with the TikTok. So I'm seeing it's like we're getting to see more of that artist through your concepts. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah and I so. love that. That like, that alone shows that. All right, cool. Anyone could just say, yeah, we want to do this, wanna... but the proof is in the pudding. Know what I'm saying, mm. and I love that. I can't lie. Yeah, something that we, if we were starting out, the why it took us so long to really put ourselves out there, like, yeah. wait until like April to really. Just put it out, put it out there to the world because yeah. we kind of wanted to figure out our identity as a brand and what we want to do and stuff. So and build like, a foundation as yeah, well. Yeah. So that? like in terms of just pushing artistic sense. boundaries and that, I was always someone that like I I was I'm so heavy into like music media like yeah. from from the I started studied the eighties the nineties the swear. like all of that stuff and just how they used to move like as I say like I said earlier America's is like light years ahead. Mm. For example, uh. Ice Cube, 30 years ago. Ice Cube, I'd say, in terms of the biggest rapper, like, where he his stature was as an artist, mm. a hip-hop artist in the 90s, which I'd say is similar to, on a similar level to, like, what someone like Heady One is in the UK. Mm. Yeah, America, obviously, I'm not comparing their styles or whatever, but just yeah. 
the impact they had in mm. the community and the All culture, right, etc. Fair enough, fair enough, and fair enough. 30 years ago, 30 years ago, yeah, very yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was making movies, bro. That's the thing, yeah. He's making well. independent movies, Fridays, by the way. Fridays. Boys, boys yeah, in the hood. No like, hood. Friday. Like, things uh, that have a cultural yeah, yeah, impact. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, as a yeah. kid, I know, like, that's lasted for the next 20 years. Next generation has preed it and it's like, raw. It's true. And then, that's look at that, like the waterworks that that's created mm-hmm. in the like, overseas. Mars, that the exactly. amount of artists that decided, okay, I'm gonna start doing music like Belly, yeah, um, yeah. Rock, Mars, rock, rock Nation, rock, Rockefeller at the time, or the, that paid in full, all yeah. of that them, type of stuff. Them monumental. They get a two pack, well, poetry justice, like stuff like that. And I look mm. at the UK, and I'm like, obviously, I don't want us to be identical to them, but mm. it's just like pushing artistic boundaries. Like, how far can you really take this? How do you want to actually have a stamp on our generation? How do you want to be perceived? Cause you can't be the hottest thing in the planet forever. Mm, Do you get? Everyone so has their it's moment. Like, yeah, it's like so. What are you really doing to take ownership of the position that you're in mm. and move forward? Like that's what we was always like gunning for. It's all about ownership. Mm. Like what? How can you really become a force? So like something. What? Who? The model that we really copied at the time when we was creating Celsius, um, Europe, Celsius Europe. <laughs> um, yeah. Was Rock Nation oh, like okay. the foundation that so you've um, actually studied them? Yeah, like hard, like hard. So you know about Bigs, all these Bigs, Jazz, O, yeah. all of that, man. Like Bigs is Mars, brother. You know Mars from oh. um, he used to do Joe Budden's podcast. Nah, I don't uh, know. Don't that know. Man. But yeah, like I used to just pre all of these guys hard, didn't it? And I was like, cool. This this mantra, the amount of people that I've eat, I've eaten through that little ship, mm. the boat of of like. Rock Nation, you, from the the dip sets, Cameron, all of mm. that, to to like you know Memphis Bleak, the mm. the fucking Beanie Seagulls. Yeah. Then you can you look at it from a wider Maybe scale, sparks, and it's like man. okay, there's Rihanna now, Ho, uh, there's there's Kanye, mm. there's 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 J Cole. It's like mm. okay, this like these guys these guys have not just built people that are. Just artists and they, they have stamps they on our generation. The, 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 like Rihanna's the, the the youngest um self made billionaire. billionaire. Yeah. Like Black. female. Coming from what Crazy. Barbados, you weren't even born in America. Yeah. Swear, Kanye, so. Kanye's richer than Hove now, mm. allegedly. Huh? So I don't know, but I don't even know. Nah, see that I, I pre the the number according to Forbes and that like, what swear. I've seen there. It's swear. like things like that is like I've always I, I wanted to do that. As a, as a company from the jump. Oh, okay. Like, That's the vision. That was always the jump. So, um, like, one of the examples where I felt like, okay, we're actually doing something positive mm. in our area. So, my boy Jordan, Jay Reese, um, mm. he um, used to take pictures on his phone, mm. cameras. Mm. Um, like, take pictures. Like, we'd just be in the ends, walking, chilling, going out somewhere. we take pictures of the scenery and stuff. And yeah. we clocked raw, like, that's, you're actually hard. Well, when was he doing it? When was his time ago? No, like? no. Oh, this was, I would say... Two months ago. Okay. It's like not like so we're like you're actually hard. Mm. Uh, my partner Tobes does events very often. We mm. always have. We if if he doesn't have events, we have shoots. We have stuff mm. we need BTS for. We need mm. stuff that like we can, like you should just take this to a certain level. Like we had mm. a conversation when we told him that, and what I respect him about him so much is like almost immediately he had a camera. He made a page. He honestly learned how to edit. Okay. Got really like stuff like that. My other boy KT as well is similar. The cool. two, the two cameramen for cool. Celsius, okay. they do their thing cool. proper. But that made me really deep. Like wow, we're actually, we're, we're we're putting people in positions to actually take ownership of themselves and really build something for themselves. And mm. that's that's what we was all about from the jump. So when that moment happened, it was really like. Wow, this is real. Do you get? Mm, I love this. That's, that's a crazy story. I can't lie. And I love that, yeah, because it's like even to to bring me and Michael into this play, yeah, it's like that's what we're kind of trying to do with our pod. Like mm. yeah. we're bringing on people like you, like to educate people. Like yo, word. there's other actually there's other avenues, fam. Yeah. Word, word. Like there's not just yeah, uh, you said it last week on the other pod. It's not just fraud. It's not word. just yeah. drugs. Like there's actually other avenues to Literally. make it in this world, fam. Literally, no, like because if you got you guys have been tuning in and consistent, you look, we went from. E day being a rapper, then Miss T, you know, making nice bank off of selling food, mm. then now transitioning to body contouring. Then we got ours events, ticket reselling, six figures from that. And now we have Clay in here, marketing. marketing agent, that fam. the thing is with this show as well is that, you know, what I love like why you're actually here as well. Like, because the thing is, there's been a lot of people that wanted to come or people that you thought of hollering, but were like, nah. No, let's not do that because they're not mm. intentional. This is very, very, intentional, very intentional. Fam. Like you don't just wake up. I want to do my like. <laughs> no, there facts. had to be a specific uh, want, vision, mm. uh, taste you want to have. Like you just talked about rock nation, bro. You were so specific with that. I can, I can feel the hunger in you. 
No, I appreciate that. I can that, feel man. that. Like, even now, I'm like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can it's feel genuine, it. Man. It's genuine, so, man. And, and I love it. And it feels like, to me, it's like, we're just getting started. You've done something, you've done something so major already. Mm. Like, bro, you have run a campaign. You guys hit a million views on your first campaign. Like, that's cold, that's crazy bro. Still. Like, now nah, I'm know, saying, like, but even going back to that now, yeah. How did that feel, bro, accomplishing that? I was happy because I... I I'm always some. I've always had the idea of what we've created here. It's not something that's like happened overnight. I've thought about this since like 2016, 2017. Wow. But at the time, I always felt like I, I, I love it the way it's, the way it's gone about. It's perfect the mm. timing. But at the time, I always felt like one. I didn't really know how to put it out there as much. Mm. Obviously, I used to do. I was doing radio to kind of get myself through the door and just. But that's mm. not really my personality. I'm not really mm. the type of like or, or is yeah, yeah. Like you, I, 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 I am to an extent like i like to keep to myself like people that i fuck with or people that i'm comfortable with nah, i can have yeah, i can yeah, be yeah, chill I but see, i'm not it. like a, I, I i don't want to put myself out there like my personality out there or just, nah, hey, that's, oh, okay. that's, that's just the type of person i am in it nah, so you, i forced myself a bit out of my comfort zone to do that mm, and then you. i felt like okay i'm not really liking this as well mm. so let me fall back mm. and then i was the, i got to a point i would say in the pandemic where i felt like i couldn't like this was a dream. Mm. It wasn't gonna happen. Like, mm. oh, it could have worked but out. Radio kind of presenting like, specifically. No, just, just what, what I'm doing now. You know, you know, yeah. just, oh, just oh, in terms okay. of Celsius Europe. Oh, okay. Um, I always felt like this, that was a dream. Is an idea of what is not gonna happen now. You fumbled, kind of vibe. Mm. So when that happened, it was like I felt like I was relieved because it's like I really believed in myself, in it, mm. and it's, it's Lo- the that, fact that man. it came into fruition. Fruition. It's mad. It really made me deep. Like, wow, this is real. That's cold. But also at the same time, um, when did that reach a million views? It's, May. It's not even too May, long. Ago. Yeah, 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 many, yeah, many yeah, times. yeah. May. Oh yeah. So at the time, um, I started like re- when we registered our business. Me and Tolls, my partner, we fasted, didn't it, for like the last week wow. of um, April. So. Yeah, we fasted until. Uh, until six o'clock, I'll say, yeah. Mm. Done okay. the dumb ones. Okay. We did that. I'm not someone that had that like, been really close to God. Like, God. like my family, like my mom is really hard on it. Mm. So that kind of pushed me as well. But I was just really deep in that. We're sitting on something. Like, every time, we, at the time, we, we wasn't really out there yet. Mm. So we, every time we spoke to people about what we're trying to do, like, right, everyone's yeah, like, no, everyone, no, or, no, actually the, not. It was more him. so like, yeah, you lot are sitting on something mad. Like, oh. you lot, yeah, do it, do oh. it. So we were, we was aware that we're, on the, we're doing the right things in it mm. kind of so you're on the verge of actually so I, I, I sat down and I was like let me actually fast let me actually try and do something like give myself to God give a sacrifice mm. to him wow. see if we'll pull through and then wow. we hit one million and then from there it was just like pff, work constant yeah, work just, things yeah. happening it was like cold. that's dope man that, that is cool mm. uh, even to take it even back even more to the campaigning yeah mm. would you say you're always like a creative person then um, in terms of create, yeah, yeah, always. Um, I was in my first introduction to like the music creative side of things. Um, like back in the day, um, the school the guys that I grew up with in school, that like, you know, that man used to do music, innit? Oh, yeah, yeah. So at the time, I wanted to rap, but mm. I wasn't good enough. <laughs> now, in fact, I wouldn't even say I wasn't good enough, yeah. Uh, it's just the man. shit they were talking about. No, you know, do you know what it is, yeah? I wasn't one, I wasn't that good, mm. two, like. The way it was, yeah, like you're not rapping unless you're really, really yeah, you doing have to be that out shit. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. Gonna <laughs> test you. You're gonna be yeah, tested. So yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. So I was always the person, the voice in the room that was like, "Oh, this sounds hard. Oh, yeah, no, try mm. this. Try." Mm. You get it, like, and I, I always really understood from an early age. I'll say I was like 14 at the time, and it was like, "Okay, yeah, you have a mind for music. Like, mm. you kind of get music what you're trying." Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'd say that's where the creativity started to grow. Okay. Um, uh, before. Like how I even started getting into radio, I went to represent radio, mm. YBE and all of that. Um, Jay Hussey DJs, me, Tobes, YBE and that. They took us in. I went there, so I've pulled up the next week and I've spoken to the guy in it. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy that runs represent Adrian, oh, okay. and I was like, yeah, I want to show. Like he was like, that's not how it works. Like you can't just come. Yeah. So <laughs> you have to I'm like, cool. he's out. like, yeah. So he's like, do you know what? Record a weekly show, like find a way to do a little countdown show or whatever no he didn't even say that he just said record like get some like demos and that see what you're saying mm. so i've hit up like once again i told you instagram i'm like mm. your best so friend. when i when i jumped on represent um after where i be 
Man's preed every single person that works at represent. Mm. Followed literally, them. Literally. Yo, I took a picture in front of the represent sign. So I posted that picture and I followed everyone. Bro, what? You're there? Follow, 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 follow. Commenting, liking. You're going to be aware of my presence. You know them ones. Mm. So then I hit up... Um, the anger. I hit up Jodeci. She's got a shoulder. Um, I shadowed her a couple of times. And mm. I was just like, how do I get myself out there? I, was, I didn't even re- really remember. How that. old are you I at this time, by the way? At this point? 16, 16, going 17. 16, you're yeah. hungry as fuck. You're hollering bad different people working at this one uh, company. Do you know what it was, yeah? Um, my boy died, didn't he, when I was 16. Mm. And that's when I really even. deeped, yeah, like... Mm. Thing. Man's preed every single person that works at represent. Mm. <laughs> Follow them. Literally. Yo, I took a picture in front of the represent sign. So... I posted that picture and I followed everyone. Bro, what? You're there? Follow, 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 follow. Commenting, liking. You're going to be aware of my presence. You know them ones. Mm. So then I hit up... Um, the anger. I hit up Jodeci. She's got a shoulder. Um, I shadowed her a couple of times. And mm. I was just like, how do I get myself out there? I, was, I didn't even re- really remember. How that. old are you at this time, by the way? At this point? 16, 16, going 17. 16, you're yeah. hungry as fuck. You're hollering bad different people working at this one uh, company. Do you know what it was, yeah? Um, my boy died, didn't he, when I was 16. Mm. And that's when I really even. deeped, yeah, like, mm. were mm. taking, like, I'm not dying fam or if i'm like i'm i'm not going out like this i'm mm. i know that there's more to mm. to me than the ends and all of yeah, that so from life. there i was like cool fuck that i'm really trying to jump on this music thing and mm. trying to actually make a hustle i watched bare like mtv documentaries back in the day you know them documentaries that will just show like 50 cent oh, yeah. jay-z oh, yeah, 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 45 yeah, yeah. minutes nice. kanye yeah, 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 fat, yeah. fab nas nice, all of that and i'm yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. cool these men all came from the trenches. That's how I used to think. In it. So mm. I'm like, shit, I was just praying, praying hard, praying hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I hit her up, asked her for advice. Uh, she she was really, like, she gave me, she was like, yeah, you should do a countdown show. Mm. You should do all of this. She gave me a lot, bunch of tips. So I did that. I did a, me and Tom's done like, uh, what was the show called? I don't even remember. Homegrown something, yeah, whatever. Homegrown talent. Talent. No, yeah. not talent. Oh, not that. Oh, something else. But um, oh, okay. we did like a top 10 countdown UK guys coming up and we okay. just recorded it SoundCloud we've done like three episodes oh, Okay. and I was like cool the fact that we could create this in my in a room like just chilling just in our in room fucking room. around what, three of you and guys. I was like yeah I'm, I was, that's when I really did okay anything I can put my mind to creatively I can really put things yeah, to fruition isn't it? Mm. and it's just I've um, just kept on it still. from that's there just, the ball's just been rolling yeah, literally. Yeah, and of course, being creative, especially marketing specifically, mm. marketing is all about results, 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 results all the time, fam. So, like, cool. Well, with you. That, that's what people get misconstrued. Okay. That's that's what you guys see. Marketing isn't just results. No, I'm from the consumer's yeah, perspective. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. But, like, you can't get that misconstrued because you have to be very clear of the language you use with that sense because with marketing, there's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot of you, you have to of really course. real time market and you need to like for example your organ your organic optimizations need to be on point mm. you need to know okay this person gets two this like all, he's talking organically right two this person gets two thousand views um 300 likes 80 comments all together like you know you pre this you've pre that's organically mm. then now you've studied those numbers and you said you looked at those analytics and you're like cool now let me try I want to get more clicks on this person's page. Yeah. How can I do that? Let's try to do some paid media. Yeah. Okay, so through the the paid now you've done the paid media, you've noticed that it's got 8,000 views. Mm. 200 in, 100 engagement. Mm. Um 100 engagement, 90 likes. Would you look at that and say that's like those results are good? Like it depends. Well, in terms of being, like, depends on what you want. Though. It depends like, on what, what you're trying to get. Okay, let's say yeah, uh, you no, wanted you wanted a, more cl- you wanted more clicks on your page. Yeah. Right? Originally, the last time you posted content where you were trying to get clicks on your page, this mm. is organically. Yeah. Mm. You've managed. You've received. 800 people saw your post, 200 people clicked on it, yeah. 80 people actually signed up. Mm. Yeah, that's, whatever, not, that's yeah? not great. That's, that's organically. Not, okay, okay, organically. Okay, so now you've paid, let's say you've done you've done paid media now. Paid media, like, because you've now done paid media, um, the people that you're reaching may not naturally be interested, mm. which is normal. So now, people, like, look, you can look at the, the results that you receive, like, okay, this person, 8,000 people previewed it now. Um, 200 people clicked on it 70 people signed up mm. looking at those results it's easy to look at and say oh this got 
50,000 views. Mm. Oh, well done, job done. Mm. No, nah, that's, nah, that's, nah. That's, that's not how it runs. Like, nah. I had to kind of go through that myself. I'm not really like, I, would, I don't really have experience in marketing. I didn't study marketing. Oh, I didn't okay. do business studies. Mm. I didn't. Uh, I got, just learning on the go. What'd you say? You're learning on the go, right? Um, I'd say I learned a lot while I was um, at TikTok. Oh, okay. In terms of, that's where I really, I got, I was doing, I was a digital marketing intern. Wow. How did you even connect with that? How did that, how do you make that happen? Uh, I just really just made a CV. Uh, my cousin told me to apply. Oh, it was literally okay. the deadline. I put oh, my okay. CV together. I never really made a creative CV. I've always made a like, put, like trying to get a job CV. Yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, like, cool, yeah. let me put my creative stuff down. So yeah. I just put radio, plays homegrown talent. Uh, I used to host like concerts and stuff with mm. Ben back in the day. Stuff like that. And then mm. they were like, that's dope. Also, I speak another language. So they're like, yeah. oh, that's dope. And I got a chance and that was really a moment for me when I was like, raw, like the fact that I'm here, bro, with dreads, this black youth from, with dreads from the ends. That's what you love. They, yeah, yeah, like it's here, like, fam, I need to, I'm not fumbling, you get mm. it? So I hit up everyone when I was there. Like mm. there was a thing like they go on software luck. So all the like client, everyone that works there is all, to, all the colleagues what, are together. TikTok? Yeah. Mm. So, okay. so you I've just what, hit up everyone. What, you hit up everyone in like what in different sectors of yeah, business? different because I was doing marketing. Yeah. So while well, I was at the marketing, we was doing the Euros at the time. So they were giving us little tasks to do the Euros. Oh, yeah, yeah, I worked yeah, yeah, with yeah. the English team and French team yeah, as well because yeah. I was speaking French. So they were doing stuff like that. But outside of that, they, they were really so welcoming and like, what would you like to do? What are your interests? Mm. I told them I was into music. Uh, they set up a meeting with me and um, Clive, uh, like the head of the music division oh, on TikTok. Okay. Like he's the one that patterned. Um, um, Central Seed like time ago um, Day in the Life when it first when he first yeah, blew up on TikTok yeah, yeah. DP was like he was really okay. influential on that so okay. I spoke to him a lot heavy and then I realised okay let me let me try and get out of my comfort zone a bit yeah. there's, there's always music mm. spoke to different um, I spoke to people in like talent acquisitions spoke to people in different little fields and stuff and oh. I was like okay this I also realised that having those conversations with people and learning where they came from, mm. I realised that they made it clear to me as well, like the kind of experience that I already have is in the PR marketing world already. Oh. Um, one, I, I'm really, I stay in touch on LinkedIn a lot with yeah. the, my boss at the time, Daniel. Oh, okay. Um, Daniel Bultil, he does like little newsletters and stuff on oh. LinkedIn and stuff, like kind of just giving people advice, cool. people books, I hit them up like, um, for example, when I was, was doing an advert, yeah, and I was like asking them, how do I go about really putting this advert out there in terms of getting results? I want to make sure it actually reaches the right people, etc. Yeah. And he gave my advice straight from the jump, replies quick, this, ah. that, that. That's when I was like, yeah, that's... That's beautiful. Yeah, it's dope. You so. know what? Not even to slow you down, yeah. But no, no. You talking about going to different sectors within the TikTok well, offices, I don't know what to call it. Yeah, that's a little wild. Bro, that's obviously, you see me. Like, you love 50 Cent. Man loves 50 Cent as well. I love 50 Cent, guys. I love him. So, there's this book I literally read every single summer. It's called The 50th Law. He collaborated with um, Robert Greene. And there's one chapter where he's actually talking about how, where he, I think, I don't know which, I think, I don't know what label he's with. It's before Shady Records, whatever you call it. Um, Columbia. Uh, Columbia. Columbia, before yeah. they dropped, I think they dropped him, innit? Yeah. Before they dropped him, boom, he literally went to every single sector within that business. Marketing, uh, account, everything, everything, just to get information, just so you can have more of a grasp, more of an understanding. And so to hear Clay and say, ah, oh, yeah, I can, uh, you know, I have love for 50 Cent. Mm. It makes too much sense. Too much no, sense no. because... What I'm seeing in 50, I'm seeing in you right now. That's like, dope, man. That's cool. And you haven't read that book, have you? No. So that's just organic. That's but just... You see what I mean? You see what you just said about, like, the influence. You say you see an influence with yeah. me and mm. the, the positive things that I'm doing yeah. through what he created. Yeah. That's, that's what I look at for us. That's the type of things that I would like to push. Like, when, the, when we work with artists and certain artists or yeah. certain labels yeah. and we actually collaborate, I want to make things possible where it can. The, what you yeah you have you're impacting the next generation positively no, to no, put that battery in their back to do something about, next. Bro. You feel me? Like need to. That's, 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 I'm that's literally what it is. I see like. you doing that, bro. Because even besides artists as well, what you and Toby about what I think it was correct me if I'm wrong. July or June, you guys set up a workshop for. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's, that's happening. That that's happening. Um, it got postponed. It's happening. Um, oh, oh, I thought it really happened. Now we're going there on Monday. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, literally, um, these workshops, it's named after our friend that passed away. Uh, we set that up because 
He was someone that was super creative. He used to do yeah, music. Animated as well. He, he could do music. He could dance. He wanted to be an actor. Yeah. Stuff like that. So creatively, we wanted to just have something for people in the ends, especially where we were growing up, to like have something to do in, like, in terms of just motivate them, be positive. Because we had a... We didn't really have a lot of positive guys in the end. On a, I don't even want to be them type of guys, though. But like, I, we didn't really have guys in the end that could do things or make things nah, happen, especially true. in terms of music. Sure. Um, the music game, the industry, the way it is, is really experience oriented. Like, mm. you're not really getting a look in unless you're working from three, one or two. You ain't got that much experience. What mm. I wanted, to, what I would like to set up, um, the the purpose of this workshop essentially was to have something where we can give people experience growing up. That's why we aimed for 14 to 19 year olds. Okay. Because it was so that they can have, we have multiple courses, right? We have a DJ, we're doing a DJ workshop. Mm. We're doing a like artist one. Like they have a studio and all of that yeah. built in the so youth club. Journalism as well. Yeah, we're doing music, creative yeah. writing, music journalism. Cold. Um, <sighs> uh, marketing, we've got a marketing team, so we're going to give them like cool. a little budget. Like, budget to play around with yeah. and actually push a song on like yeah. campaign and stuff like fight things to do etc so it's like okay we did this little workshop they mm. have a little certificate as well given to them it's like we did this workshop and we got experience doing this and that and that so yeah. when it's when it's their time where they're like okay i want to get i want to get out of ends i want to jump on the music thing mm, it's so like good. they've got something they can say yeah we did that and also we've i want to build a bridge where it's like if you're, you're you're working hard enough or you're actually trying to do the right things mm. like sure i'll bring you to a shoot mm. sure you want to meet this person sure you want to do this nah, are beautiful. you like yeah that's, that's literally all it, what that's about. what it takes nah, sometimes you're just that one person just to show yo other than f and all this other stuff you mm. can actually incorporate wherever you like because what, from what i'm hearing from the beginning yeah i'm just seeing it like this all right cool my name is clayton i have a nice ear for music i like to bring things to life that's 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 what I see. Right. I, like just, that. You, that I like that. Literally, you've just incorporated that and from. you've incorporated that into a business. You don't have to do any funny business. Know what I'm yeah, saying? No, it wasn't an easy road to get there. Like I don't really, when I look at people who hustle it and the, and the ends, like I don't really look at it on a. I don't frown on them because I know what it's like. Yeah, I know the poverty is bro. Not that yeah. poverty, poverty. I, but. I just know the environment. I know like there's not a lot of tools that were there to help us get to the position that we are. No, like where, mm. you think when we was in school, they ever gave us at least an hour to just teach you about credit. And all yeah, of that, it's I just got to do that yourself. Do you get it? So that was one of the things where I really deep, yeah. Yeah. Um, like especially with the credit thing. When I started, I got a story for you. When we were starting yeah, our business, I heard this. <laughs> um, we went to Metro. Mm. Well, back. Set up a business account. So you swear. Gone there. Gone through all the checks and that whatever. They're like, oh yeah, we have to do a credit check. Ooh. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> you know what? Was also like the way. I'll say I only started taking credit seriously, which is bad, but nah, I own that. We, we like learned. a year ago, isn't it? Yeah, we learned, like, bro. You know, it's just life, isn't it? So Tracks. when it decks now, isn't it? Oh, no, nah, credit's not good enough. You yeah. can't get a bit. And <sighs> I was looking at that. Like, that's really elitist. That's that's mad classes. Cause, so we're not able to run a business, according to you, Damn. because of the environmental situation that we're, we have. Is that What's what? the purpose of starting a business? Yeah, is it not to, to get, get out? So that, that, that was better. like that was something for me that I was like raw like that was like, I open up they for didn't me. if that was so important why didn't they teach us stuff you know that those are the type of things nah, I look at so it's like I don't really look at guys guys aren't really doing all that stuff I hear it man as nah, long as you're not shoot. you're not hurting people nah, I feel physically that I'd say because you are hurting people but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> just stay out of the way still. man yeah. nah I hear Word. that man That's because fair. even talking on credit now yeah um, obviously the last guest we had um, ours events yeah 19 mm. Like, mm. on his snapchat story all the time talking about building your credit building your credit building your credit talking about the importance of it because you see a lot of us when we're young as well yeah we don't not that we don't care but we don't care because we're yeah. not trying to buy a house no, it's fine. at 16, yeah. 17. We're not thinking of that sh- kind of stuff, innit? We're not thinking of that shit. Mm. But then now, boom, all right, you want to start but, a business. Like, the same way, the thing with me as well, like, I'm really big on ownership, innit? Mm. So when it comes to credit, while I didn't really take it seriously, I was aware of it, but I always felt like I want to take ownership of the things that I have, innit? I don't mm. want to lease nothing. I don't want to, like, I'd rather... I, my priority is having the capital there. Oh, as you. long as you have the capital, at the end of the day, Oxford that's what talks, it. isn't it? Nah, yeah. it's true. Yeah. It's so true. that's how I've always seen it. But it's something that you do need to take serious for sure. I can't lie. To even like take it back to sell you, isn't it? So obviously you've worked. Celsius. To, so, sorry. I hear. I get that a lot though. I get that a lot. <laughs> no, we get a lot though. Celsius. 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 Celsius.
the so, so, is that is that a, what's it called company's house name yeah yeah Celsius Europe Limited store so. say no more so to take it back to that yeah. yeah like you've worked with like top 40 artists how do you like deal with the pressure of delivering and executing your plans like how would you say you deal with it uh <sighs> You know, I don't really get the pressure. I don't really get pressure. You seem chill, bro. bro. You seem so chill, bro. Yeah, like, Like, the way it is, yeah. So chill, like. I put so much time into what we do. Um, More, like, as we've really gotten started, it's been a bit more hectic because I've admin stuff, Mm. like, like, trying to be places, make sure things happen, strategies. The schedule's busy. patterning us. But yeah, like, when we're actually working on a campaign, I never really have any doubt because, like, the way we are, like, me and my team were so... We have such an ear to like the audience that we're trying to cater to in terms of like Gen Z because we're, we're, we're so young. A lot of people that are in the position that we are in, especially mm, like men, because women, women in terms of in this industry, I'd say they, they dominate it at a young age in comparison to the men. Mm, but what music? Nah, marketing, marketing. Oh, a little okay. bubble, yeah. Oh, okay. I, like, I believe so. Um, oh, okay. like, well, what makes I, you say that, bro? That's, that's interesting. Um, the other agencies that do their thing in the UK music, like market agencies, like Bay Agency, 22. Oh, I love Bay Agency. They bring yeah. like, they always bring life to their... Yeah, they're facts, dope, facts, they're dope. Facts, facts. See, like, that, that, I would say that's a really like women orientated yeah, business, it is, isn't yeah, it? Like, yeah, it is, yeah. or, or they're the ones that are killing it and respect to them. Like, no disrespect, like, mm. they're killing it. But there's a lot, of, there's not a lot of men or especially like black men that, like young black guys nah, that really got an ear to things yeah. and know, okay, this is what people don't like. This is yeah, what people yeah. like. I'm really from the ends. I'm not yeah. like, uh, a white guy looking at yeah. as well as looking at analytics and pre and the numbers and stuff like that I'm also really it's authentic I'm really here I'm really experiencing I'm part of the audience too so when it's time to actually make things happen it's not really difficult for me because I you know have, what you will buzz yeah. you look at it from a consumer's perspective yeah, yeah I know what will buzz mm. and I also have a good team around me that they also have an ear like also mm. like my, my partner is a dj he's mm. all over the world he's, he's everywhere what, yeah. he knows what music is banging he knows what's not banging mm. you know like you grow up you, you when you're around people as well because it's such a like sociable mm. kind of you, you know what actually like even talking on your partner now told yeah, yeah. DJ told obviously clearly he's musically inclined as well he's a dj and you are as well so you two coming together yeah when it comes to like uh, brainstorming what is that like fam because you man are, uh, I clearly you guys are both creative our creative process like. is crazy man yeah. I don't know if I can say it on here man, man. we just <laughs> like I, I give us a little peek bro do you know what it is me and him will just be in a room together mm. and like it's crazy we'll just have an idea like let's yeah. say for example I'll be like bro let's let's Get a mountain and so let's let's shoot something on the mountain. He'd yeah. be like, "Bro, I was literally just writing <laughs> this down." What? Thinking like it's we bounce off each other like yeah. crazy. Pause. Nah. So, um, <laughs> like when it came to the actual us making this happen, how we even became like how it even became me and him doing this together. Yeah, because yeah, I said it was you at first, isn't it? Um, it it was yeah, it was me. It was my concept, but before I actually was like, "Let's do this," mm. I spoke to him because. As I was saying earlier, I'm not someone that likes to be in the forefront of things. Oh, being okay. like, as a kid, that was my bag. Yeah, bro, you know it. I remember <laughs> secondary school. Clayton is the wildest nigga out here. Yeah. This nigga out here. I was outside, but yeah, like I'm, I'm real chill, isn't it? Like yeah. I just like to just do my own thing, like mm. just grow my hair in peace. You feel me? But <laughs> like he's more out there, social. Yeah. Everyone's friend, all yeah, of that. So yeah. when I was when we was doing this, I was like, bro, I need you to be like. Um, part of this because on top of that I was already handing a lot of his brand strategy building him as a brand and Mm. like a lot of ideas and a lot of things was like was working together already so when that came about it was easy in terms of getting our name Celsius where it comes from which is dumb I'll ask you that um, I made a mix so I was chilling in the room with Tobes yeah Couple another SP as well. Mm. I shout out TT as well just Mm. demand them God bless them yeah word Um, so (laughs) I was like, fuck it, I'm making a hip-hop mix because you see me, like, the way I listen to hip-hop is like, I'm not listening, the, the type of mixes or the type of things that play in a club is not what I'm listening to. Yeah, same, bro. So, I made a little mix, like, called it Pass Me The Orcs. And then these men were like, this mix is hard. One of them was like, this mix is hard. Another yeah. was like, this mix is cold. Yeah. And they were like, you should call yourself Celsius, you know? What? And I was like, why? What's the correlation, though? Because they were like, because yeah, you're cold. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> degrees. <laughs> so I was <laughs> like, oh, whatever. Went Yo. to one party afterwards, didn't it? One like girl graduating. Yeah. So I've slept. I've connected to the orcs. So I put a mix on, didn't it? And it was everyone was just getting turned in it. All the, all the YLBs were feeling it. So I was Rah. like, yeah, cool. So, but I, I don't want to be a, like that. Was never yeah. me in it. So yeah. I just that was like me being like, raw. I can actually put my mind to something yeah, and do it. Do it's it light, on a creative level, yeah, yeah, yeah. clearly. So um, from there, I was like, yeah, this is what we're calling. It was like oh. no brainer, Celsius, oh, Euro- oh, and then oh, Europe. No pun intended. Yeah, no yeah, pun intended. Word, word, cold, word. That's how it is. And then Europe, um, we was like, <laughs> I feel like Celsius by itself is a bit lame. So mm. I was like, we was thinking of going Celsius London. Yeah. We had a conversation about it and was like, bro, why are we going to limit ourselves yeah. and broaden ourselves to yeah. London? Let's actually Celsius Europe, Europe, you feel me? And even with the name Celsius Europe, yeah. Again, you've brought that to life because just recently, I think about what, correct me if I'm wrong, two months ago, something like that. Yeah. You actually went all the way to, I think you went to uh, Javenta first. Oh, <laughs> G- Geneva. 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 <laughs> Geneva. You went to Geneva first and yeah. you went to France and you collaborated with this football team as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. a campaign of them as well, isn't it? No, so um, the Geneva, which one do you want? Uh, let's go with the football team first. F- football and that cool. Paris, that wasn't me. That's my brother. Okay. Um, his team, FC Glacier. Okay. London team, base team, he set up a football team, oh, okay. done trials and whatever, and um, flew them to, took a coach, they did a coach journey <sighs> to France, Paris, coach. linked up with a team and they faced each other, recorded it, going live. That. that was dope. Um, I came there to assist them in terms of just like vlogging it, getting behind the scenes, okay. making sure everything was cool, yeah. Damn. That was dope though, like big ups to him and the fact mm. that he put that together. I think they're even doing a little rematch. Damn, what, soon? So, yeah, they're, they're not going to come here. Shit. But that energy there, like I get why our ballers in France it, are you, crazy. It was even the artist, the French artist you worked with, fam. Uh, yeah, Actually, I saw one clip. It was killing me. It was like Pierre, like Pierre. Uh, Pierre <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's Charlie. Yeah, no, that that was oh, these man. The French art that was in Geneva. These men are based in France, but the way okay. they are, yeah, it's like you can literally just walk past the border to Switzerland. Okay, they're so right. they're so close to each other and mass. The border of Switzerland. So the nearest airport is Geneva. Okay. And then you can just drive across. Okay. So yeah, we went... Um, How that came about was kind of weird. So we had... The earlier camera guy that said KT, he's just linked me to his boy who knows a boy who knows a boy that does music. Oh, yeah. And he wants to hit me up about yeah. just trying to do something for yeah. Celsius. Oh, okay. So I'm like, what's up? He, they hit me up. They were like, oh, they're based in NN, Northampton. Mm. They hit me up like, oh, we're trying to like just boost his audience. Like, we, we have a song coming out next week. Can you do anything for it? I said, that's really late notice. Uh, I, no, it wasn't even next week. Tomorrow. That's yeah. what they said. Under was, yeah, so I was like, that's mad late notice. But Rah. if I got something in mind for you, man, will hit you up, innit? So now you're so put to the test now. That's, that's mm. a Yeah, test. so I'm just like, I've kept them in my mind. But at the same time, we're working on... I'm bare sorry. different campaigns yeah. so um my cousin nathan shy envy mm. um he he moved to france you know how he moved to france a couple yeah, years yeah, back yeah, in it yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he came back so he moved to france in like, the middle of year nine the area he moved to was them man that area over there in it mm. in france so he went there went to go visit his family and he's hit me up and he's like yo these man want to do a collab with a uk guy Bruh. um can you pattern that and i'm like mm. i'll get back to you brushed it cool just i'm um, chilling with tobes and that and just getting being very creative like what can we do like every time i wake up i'm like what can i do to take celsius europe to the every next single level day. every, every day. day like i'm uh, until, i'm, free, I'm not getting bro. out of bed until i figure that out I'm it's free. one of them ones i'm really like so i wo- we was just sitting there and i was like fam yeah we need to go hard on this um mm. we need to really go hard on just building this brand mm. so i've now hit up these man i hit up like a bunch of artists that i knew yo would you guys be on guy in france like doing a collab with someone yeah couple man brushed it brushed it i hit up these man and i'm proper like pitching it to them because these were like yeah. the last guys i've even really nah. told didn't well, it by that point, by but, that point but at, at this time but like, bear in mind i only shouted like two people prior to them it wasn't like i shouted loads oh, of people oh, okay okay but like i was like cool um I'm pitching it, like proper pitching it. And he's not really saying that anymore. Pitching it on the phone, pitching it to his manager. And he's like, you don't really need to say all of this. It's ready, yes. Like, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Never met them, um, by the way, did it? So we flew there. Yeah. Uh, they flew there before me a couple hours before I got there. As soon as I got there, the French artist grabbed man, like, three cars up. Mm-hmm. Love, man, them. Like, this is 
These man got you, they're gonna take you from A to B. These man, Damn. yeah, da, 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 took me to the studio, went to the studio, Damn. listening to some beats. Um, obviously, you know, Fr- the French culture, that that culture there is crazy because Smart Whip is legal, you can buy it in a corner shop. What? Literally, <laughs> 15 <laughs> euros, 15 euros, bang, tap your card, Apple Pay. That's the culture, already. Right? So, these man, the rappers, boys, fried off their heads, just wow. Smart Whip, Smart Whip, Smart Whip, put it. Crazy. So, the dumb ones, so. That, that, that was just the whole environment at the time creative like, process okay. and I was like what what I would say really took me out of my comfort zone mm. is because cool it's all fun and games mm. putting in two guys together making sure everyone's on time flights yeah, all of yeah, this yeah. like it's gamma actually happening on, yeah. from both sides because yeah. I speak French so I've made a whatsapp group chat I've patterned it on that side I've patterned the English side now everyone's come together we're in the studio and it's like okay shit we actually have to do something mm. now you get so I, I patterned like loads of beats in advance. I hit up loads of producers. I told them what we're trying to do. Uh, they sent me like packs. I've sent it to them. I'm just played it to them. The, not to cut you off. Yeah, the way you kind of like played the role of an A&R in some way. Mm. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Like yeah. This, this job's kind of made me do everything. I've yeah. been an actor, director, and editor. Actor, you actor? Not me. No, I wouldn't say actor. That's a drag. <laughs> yeah, Even though you, you know you done <laughs> drama, you done drama as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> GCSE. Yeah, that was hard as well. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's like, good. Yeah, no, um, yeah, like, just bare different little roles, isn't it? Um. Um, yeah, like throughout the thing. So yeah, I was doing like A and R stuff. Yeah. I was more so like executive producing it because we had the beat. We had like a couple beats that we knew we was fucking with. Now yeah. it's like, okay, how can we make it work? Yeah. So. UK artist, bear in mind as well, never met the guy, heard a couple of his songs, yeah. I thought it was alright, mm. but it like, he surprised me how good he was, okay. kind of vibes. Well, what, what stuck out to you? Um, I'll say the voice, you know, mm, like, sweet. yeah, the way he came on the beat, pause, like, proper, mm. innit? Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, fam, you can't lack, man. Nah, this, that's the full force. What, were they, were they pointing in the studio? Because obviously, was it ever like yeah, a language, like oh, was it ever like a language barrier with them to you, or did it just naturally flow? Mm, no, nah, them not. At first, yeah, it was more so me, they say something to me, the, okay. uh, the French guys were oh, okay. really trying on the English side of things as well, they're, oh, they're okay. dope for that, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was more so me translating, then as they, they started making music together and recording, it was like, yeah, you do this, you do that, and oh, they, they, yeah. they're getting it. Okay. Like, they went, like, we're going back to back and that and stuff. Okay. It was dope. Then the day after, um, we shot a video. We shot a video in Geneva. Flew back. Uh, the videos got finished getting shot, like, mm. I'll say, like, 4 a.m. Yeah. My flight to Paris was at 7 a.m. Damn. Literally, barely slept. Bro. Went to Paris, done the behind the scenes with a vlog. And got back, yeah. Oh, that is mad. Just Great hearing story. that alone, fly from here to here, da, 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 bro. How, how do you deal with it? How do you balance things like what uni, family life, uh, social life, your mm. friends? Like, how do you actually balance that, bro? Do you know what? Yeah. Um. What makes it easier for me is that I put the people that I love in involved in this, and it. Okay. Like, so, like my best friends, my partner. Mm. I've got like. Not Toby. Yeah. yeah. Like. Female friends that I grew up with that I rate like you lot are my people. I've got you. I've mm. gave them roles in the te- like executive roles in the team. Like, oh, okay. like so, yeah. shout out to Adjua. They patterned our social media. They make sure like one point they flew to Geneva out of like their own pocket. They came to Geneva, made sure things were patterned. It's like so, stuff yeah. like that. Is that like, real cool? Like you lot are real. You're involved. Mm, like I was saying, my boy Jordan with the camera yeah. stuff. KT. Mm. Like it's guys that like are around me that I know cool. I want to take you out with me, kind of like, because oh, okay. this is gonna like we wake up, we know this is gonna bust, like this is gonna work. For it's us. a matter of time. Yeah, mm. so it's like, you are you coming or you're not coming? So mm, the yeah, fact that yeah. everyone was really like everyone in my life was really like on board, on board from the jump. Yeah. It's easy, especially True. like it's as well with my mom. Like um, she's kind of noticed that I've taken like my religion and stuff more seriously since the I've more been, connected with God now. As yeah, well, yeah. Man. Since I've been doing this more, so wow. she pushes that, and encourages it as well. So yeah. oh, okay. I love that story. So like even like in regards to you, like actually having a balance like with education, bro. How was you able to balance that, bro? Because you know that's a, that's a lot. Bro, Still a journey that I got through today. Like yes. that I struggle with. How do well. you balance that, bro? Like I ha- like or even if you don't exactly balance it. How is what is that like? Take us to your world of that. I want to know because it's stressful. I, I know how it feels, bro. Mm. Um, like uni and then still planning other things that you wish to bring to life. It's, it's a lot. So I want to um, know. Tell on us the, about on the that. uni side of things, uh, um, I was just grinding. Like 
um, I was commuting, so mm. and the way I was commuting, I had my, you know, the tutor, the one that actually your personal tutor. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah. it on Thursdays and in the morning. Oh, okay. So, like, I had other stuff I needed to go to, but that one, if I miss two. Yeah, like yeah, she's kicking me out you know oh, them yeah, one so yeah, man yeah. was to make sure i'd go every wednesday fly up there stay with my boys yard on the okay. sofa so far yeah serious. literally sleep on the sofa do uni so work so. fly back to london sometimes mm. dear like when we had our campaign which one um the advert what that with was, um, studio yeah space. studio space yeah. so um we, li- we literally done an advert um, that should be coming out in the next few months um, for okay, an app. Um, yeah. They're like Airbnb slightly, but like for cool. studio spaces, like dance studios, That's recording different. studios, See, podcast spaces. Yeah, I'm so talking like, about. You're so intentional. It's not just artists that you're working with. Yeah, no, I'm saying sure. you're so intentional. Bro. Like we're not limited to music at all. Yeah. I'll get to that bit later, but yeah, um, yeah so that's that's the like the precipice of the app. And so they asked us to like do an ad campaign for them so oh, okay. what we done um we got like a couple tiktokers together j200 um paps okay. and zane oh, um okay. so what they did they like recorded like a little skit mm. uh like just rapping and they're like oh, oh. you're cold go on, like go to the studio like record they've <laughs> yeah. gone on the app yeah. oh it's a live in live okay. live time cold and it's not yeah. out yet no no that's cold book the cold. studio as they're at the studio, obviously, I told you, like, I always like to bring guys in. So, the like, Oliver, what well, my school is an actor. Shout out Oliver Barry Brook, man. Mm. Dope, man. He's going to be in his standards one yeah. day, Garo. <laughs> big up him, big up but, him. Yeah, so, he went six for me, man. I know he does the acting thing. He's the first guy, man, hit up. Yo, mm. trying to do this, this and that. He's like, calm. He's calm. Um, Cold. He's calm. He's, he's done his bit. So, he's like the the owner of the space as mm. soon as he got booked he's like in a hurry he's gone there as he's gone there it now pans over to the God. to the podcast room that's also been booked but oh, and geez. that has like Basola shout out Basola Armani Basola does represent radio mm. oh, okay. does a lot Armani is a, a manager uh, um, project manager for Who We Be Spotify oh. Who We Be Talks and yeah we put them together and it's like okay so we have like purpose and the reason I did that and they have their heads mm. Yeah, really the reason well. I did that is uh, the people that we put into that um, ad in particular is because, for example, someone like Bisola and Omani, they're yeah. people that actually have influence in like the podcast space, mm. the the recording like shows. Well, yeah, that okay. like, all of that. That's that's their bag. That's them. So mm. like as I was saying, I'm someone that's really authentic with what I'm doing. I'm really someone that, like, when I strategize things, I, I really want it to be real. I keep my ears to the streets. I know these lot kill the recording game. I know Who We Be Talks is the most banging podcast after you, man, obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> you love, get it, but love, you, you get it, like, so, yeah. like, reaching out to them is, that's, that's bread and butter. It makes sense. TikTok, too much sense. guys, the man, I know they make skits. I yeah. know they enjoy that stuff. I know yeah. they like to record. Yeah. I know the audience that, they they were specifically told me okay we want to put this on um, TikTok YouTube yeah. that the for the MP4 yeah. format of the actual video I'm like, yeah. yeah sure no problem yeah. then now after the camp like as well as the advert we also done like a photo shoot and that's we're gonna have like a um, ad campaign so like okay. billboards etc well, oh, put that's around central and that yeah, so well that's good go- that's gonna happen yeah. yeah. That's bro, big up to you, man. That's, that's, very cool, that's, bro. A, that's a lot, bro. I but can't lie. Yeah, like, while I was doing that, so I had I had uh, an assignment. No, I did like, so I think oh. I had, sorry, my bad. I had an assignment and um, I was like, fam, I've got to put this first, didn't it? Ah. Them ones. And then I still managed to do it, but yeah. bro, yeah, I don't know how I did it. I did it in like a day. Well, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, but I put all my energy in this because yeah, at the end of the day, it. The way it is with me, how I look at my degree, which is a shame that is the case, but it's I don't really like my course that much, and I kind of well, just wanted to go uni to get out of the hood. Mm. What are you <laughs> I'm keeping it. What are you bro? No, um, criminology. Oh, okay. Yeah, law of criminology. So, oh, okay. Like, I'm not really into it. The only reason why I kind of went down that lane as well is because yeah. like, I watched Fresh Prince. You know, Uncle Phil's yard. <laughs> can I roll that yard, didn't it? Oh, yeah. And he's yeah, a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, calm, bet. But now, no. like, what I've taken from that course is, like, it's helped me in terms of contracts, handling mm. disputes, stuff and like that. that. Like, that's really vital Yeah, in this so game. that's why I'm like, cool, let me go down. And I'm the type of guy, I don't really like to give up in it. So I'm like, let me go down that touchline and just finish off what I'm doing and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But sense, yeah, man, man, the uni things I miss, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, you're still you're still pushing through, bro. I have no choice, man. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. Like, everyone's in my yards graduated. Their pictures are on the wall. Like, mm. can't yeah, be going out. Like, like, get on your neck. <laughs> Literally, I'm the guy with dreads at home and that, bro. You kind of gotta just show up, man. I can't read. Nah, I hear it, yeah. still, bro. I actually hear it, man. But yeah, like, I want, like speaking of dreads, yeah. Uh, I was having a conversation with someone. <laughs> yeah, let's get into this. Day, innit? Yeah, and they've asked. They they've kind of basically said there's a stigma. Around the look. Oh, when, when you look at someone, you obviously in a workplace. you're intimidated. Yeah, in a, in a professional setting. Oh, yeah. Do you agree with that? What do I find me personally? Yeah, yeah. I find, yeah. Nah, because no, obviously so I know well. where I know where it comes from. Like this is our actual hair is natural. Mm-hmm. And I say, wow, I, I can never be intimidated. I, I feel like it depends on the type of dress and if you take care of it. If you bro. don't take care mm-hmm. of it, no, if you don't take care of yourself. Period. I'm scared of I you. Know, but, yeah, cool, of but guys like are cool. Jay-Z don't take care of his dreads. No, but bro, that nigga's a billionaire. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're good. No one can chat to him. You're good. No one can chat to him. If I'm seeing a guy right now, if I'm walking past you right now and his dreads are just messed up, like, he's not <laughs> done them for three months or something. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga, don't don't yourself, this nigga don't give a fuck. If you don't love yourself, you won't love me. So why? Ah, I'm scared. Like, like, yeah, you, like, example, this is calm. Your hair's calm. No, I appreciate I, it. Not, I know it's good still. Yeah, but yeah, like, you get me? I'm not going to be intimidated by that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But like, like, as we say, like, about pushing artistic boundaries and just, like, impacting the culture and stuff, like, mm. the reason... As I was growing my hair, I kind of just wanted to grow up pandemic times, whatever. But why I kind of was like, you know what? Let me actually have this as a symbol for man. Mm. is because I feel like... The the narr- I, I want to kind of change the narrative that surrounds like a lot of black guys in the end. Wait, in the like, workplace or just in general, just how we're perceived, really. Like I feel you. Like no, I don't, like there's not cool. a lot of guys in in, in executive positions or no, bosses or whatever. I feel you, bro. I kind of got a rep it, man. I feel like yeah, I, you know what? I let like, me just hold nah, it down. I feel you, bro. Feel me. <laughs> that aggress here, but um, obviously Central City's <laughs> manager YB is better. Yeah. I follow him so much in it. Mm-hmm. I remember what well, about two and a half years ago I was talking about. Ah, uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm never ever 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 gonna have to wear a suit unless I'm going to a wedding or something. And that, in a way, it pertains to what you're saying with like mm-hmm. just being free, just being able. Like he, this guy's a millionaire. This guy goes to meetings in tracksuits, fam. No word. Like literally, that kind of freedom. Like I want to kind of go to the conversation of freedom, bro. Mm. Like, what would you say? You like you've always had a desire to just live a life of freedom, living how you want. Not to sound cliche, but. No, I mean, just living life on your terms. Because that's the vibe I'm getting from you, bro. Like, I want to live life on my terms and have it that way. Like, um, I, w- I wouldn't say it was always like that. Okay. Um, I always thought the, ch- the, the, the the route is you go uni, you get a job. Yeah. You settle, whatever, yeah, whatever, have whatever. a family, all that stuff. So, yeah. I've, I've, the, the generation before them, I rate them bears because they kind of clocked it. They kind of took risks. And yeah. showed all Kinda. Yeah. Niggas were OT. Niggas <laughs> took risks, man. Please. Nah, I didn't mean risks like that. I meant oh. like... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I meant like risks as, as in like... Um, they didn't follow the traditional route. Oh, like, yes. Yeah. Especially back then when there's no social media. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, They really yeah, didn't yeah, follow yeah. the traditional route. They really yeah. was like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And yes. it's worked. And yes. it's kind of shown that there's not really a blueprint. And also... As well, the traditional way is not really banging as much as it used to bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I, I really, looking at other people's thing over the past couple of years, I've realized, mm. yeah, you know what? There's, I don't really have to do it this way. I, mm. I kind of want to get my degree just so I can have a have degree. It a bag, mm. yeah. And no one can just chat to me. No one can chat to me. But mm. yeah, no, I've, yeah, I kind of do look at myself and just want to chill. At, at the same time, I wouldn't really say it's chill. Like, the hours that I put into this business, like, it's ridiculous. I don't really sleep. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I put a lot of... Uh, like, if I... Like, I know I'm breaking the law well. if I was working for someone and I was working like this. What do you say, sir? Well, do, you ed- do you do editing as well? Um, Yeah, I edit. Um, I edit. I do admins. I set up meetings. I go yeah. to meetings. Uh, I make, I manage Tobe, so I got to make sure his branding is like it's my priority point. separately yeah. from Celsius. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's... Just that, him as an individual. Yeah, yeah. He needs to... Make I need to make sure that he's gonna be in a position where he can go. Whew. Yeah. And then on top of that, I've got to make sure the business grows, but not only growing for the sake of growing, yeah. but growing and actually reaching our audience and people understand the message yeah, that we're trying to put across. And, intention. and then also handling campaigns, making sure things payments are made at the right time, making mm. sure that okay, this is what we're doing. You 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 guys are hundred percent like like in agreement that this is what you want. Mm. This is gonna be done. Cool. Making things happen. 
like outsourcing like the another reason why we took so long to start because we before i started i wanted to know what I, I had a clear idea of what i wanted to offer yeah um i prayed when we made our agency i prayed um young music boss yeah um, that, page. that page yeah, yeah. so they're, when they're they started like the they did like they did award shows didn't it? and it was like yeah. service of the year they that was 20, um well i don't know their name those bay there's a bunch of other people in there yeah. i prayed all of them and i was like all these lot are different in their own way yeah. which i liked and i was like cool yeah what would what, what service do i want to offer mm. as be my niche what's going to be my niche like, yeah, yeah most not even really a niche oh. but like yeah, I, niche, yeah, but also just like, cool. If we was, if somebody wanted to uh, wanted to book us to do a listening party, and mm. they wanted us to redo the whole venue, yeah, source yeah. the venue, redo the whole yeah, venue, yeah. have custom themes, make sure there's a red carpet, a yeah. backdrop, yeah. all of that, yeah. photo booth. Mm. Who are we going out to? Who are we mm. so, how are we sourcing this? How are we oh, getting okay. this? So it's like building those little bu- like just building blocks. Like yeah. okay, yeah, I know if I need this, I got this. If yeah. I need there's a music video, you want me to create a director video? Cool. I, I got oh, a camera guy here. I got props here. I got this there. Like it was really easy. Okay. Um, but like also. Uh, we've we ventured more into like sports as well we signed a uh, we've set up like a partnership with a, a sports agency so they have like own like footballers and clients oh, mm. that they do their agency stuff for them. Cool them but that's we're handling like their PR and stuff for the season so just putting branding into stuff like that like mm. kind of just not really trying to I don't really want to have a ceiling I don't want to be boxed in as a You're music marketing music. Right, or whatever still. like I same as I said earlier, like the way I look at Rock Nation, the way they have Rock Nation Sports, yes, they have like yeah. KDB and Lukaku and stuff, and yeah. like Donda Sports now, Jalen yeah. Brown and stuff. So I look at those things and I'm like, okay, like let's have those those built instilled in our business from early. From early. So, so when we start, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. it's good because a lot of times, if you're just focused on one lane, yeah, and then later down the line, yeah, you, limit you try yourself. and join another, not even just limit yourself, and you try and join another sector. People, some people think, wait. These yeah, guys are trying to just, they're just trying to just lick off this man. I, I hear it, but you see, you see with that, yeah, I also see it like, cool, how can I ensure that we do not fall off? Like, cool, music is music. At the end of the day, there could be there could be a new artist that comes on and he's like, cool, I've got my team and he's blown. He's yeah, gone, you know yeah. what I mean? Shit like that. And he's like, yeah. we, we're, we ain't, we're not really in that little wave. I see it as a wave. There's a little like flow that goes on. Yeah. We're not, part of we're not always going to be a part of the wave to mm. get there's there's a whole ocean now I hear it, so. it's not just mm. a wave there's 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 a there's a little beach there that that focuses on sports football and yeah. that there's a little beach there that does make sure that like we offer music videos mm, we do things like sense. that we also like it's in like fashion like a, mm. we're doing like a campaign we worked with the archive we're doing like just their, their first campaign we done nice. handle their tiktok campaign getting their name out there a bit we're doing like their photo shoot their campaign we're gonna like creative direct it probably nice. have a strategy behind it stuff like that things like that like we're really trying to not limit ourselves really broaden the the playing field a bit isn't it that's nice man that's wonderful yeah. man. that's, oh, that's nice, more than that's just wonderful i can't lie and also as well yeah you're talking about how bro you basically get no sleep at times yeah obviously that may take a toll on you i'm guessing right no do you know what it is i ain't been sleeping for years man uh-uh. i'm yes, the type I'll of guys like, like, i will sleep <laughs> yeah but yeah. like just ongoing bro like things gotta be done man nah, yeah you. i'm a night owl i'm always up late there's no one to chat to and that so what i it's just said no one to chat to you now has there been times where like in life you just feel alone like rah like, uh, all I'm, the time i'm um, yeah. nowadays i would say it's not as much as before because i like we have a partner in this mm, and we kind of yeah. we always feel the same way about certain things naturally because of what we do together oh, okay but um, in general, yeah, for sure, I feel alone a lot. Cause especially when I was starting out, it's really difficult to like as a seventeen year old to explain to someone, hey, I wanna, I wanna create an agency where we can do this, 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 yeah. this, this. Mm. and then they're like, what? what? How are you yeah. doing that? How who do you know How the you person that does that? this? Yeah, do you know the yeah. person that does that? Yeah. Do you, you know what I mean? So. I always felt like people didn't really get me, especially because when I was doing radio, I didn't like doing radio. I didn't even feel like I was being myself more time. Oh, it was yeah. just like, I'm doing what the other people it's are doing. Front of this me. is what works, so, isn't it? Yeah. Front of me. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? This was an opportunity. Let me mm. use what I can to oh, okay. build bridges. Mm. And like stuff like that, like it was kind of dead for me, you know? No, I'm okay. So now, like, as I've kind of grown more comfortable yeah. with myself, like I really figured myself out as well. Yeah. 
and just like this agency building this yeah. i don't really feel alone i was i feel connected to a lot of people because a lot of people as well come to us okay, and they're always yeah. like every time what's been happening a lot is every time someone has a campaign or, or they, they're trying to work on something it's like hey inquiring can i do that the fact that people are even doing that even if they don't even go on to use us it's like yeah we're on your mind when yeah. you want to sort something out like that's, yeah, that's that's what I kind of wanna. That must feel nice. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't really feel alone. I wouldn't say. Oh, that's nice. It's and wonderful. you know what? You mentioned in seventeen, like from seventeen, sixteen, you've been chasing this, chasing this, and you're saying how maybe some people won't take you in as well, mm. right? So like, was there ever a point where you just had like a breakdown? You're like, oh, that's done, bro. Like people yeah, not taking I'll, me in. I'll say, I'll say like from from twenty nineteen, the end of twenty nineteen, yeah, till twenty twenty two. I jumped off like I didn't do the radio thing. I didn't really do my play, my podcast. After the reason why I wasn't doing not podcast, sorry, the playlist. I was gonna say, well, I was gonna say what? Yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. the, the homegrown talent. Us, yeah. Um, the reason I stopped doing that is because I felt like that was a ceiling. I don't like working on things where there's a limit. Oh, and um, I felt like there was a ceiling there because cool. How I went about doing the podcast is literally I was on Apple Music. Podcast. I, not playlist, sorry, I keep playlist. saying podcast. Yeah, sorry, yeah, playlist. Yeah. Um, I was on. Um, Apple Music yeah. and I just put a playlist together and I was interviewing people okay. the, the person that I would put on the cover mm. personally yeah. and that was it I right on the bio that's yeah. it so then mm. I was like cool what's this really doing for me what, I'm not getting no deal with Apple being oh, a curator okay. I'm not um, like on a magazine okay. to handling like, I, I saw it like okay this is a dead end then I looked at the radio side of things and yeah. I was like cool I'm not the type of personality I don't want to oh, be okay. I, I, I was going to yeah, actually man. like go against what you're saying but now you're making sense with the yeah. for you specifically yeah 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 this okay. is for me this is for yeah. me so I was going to say like journalism there's some people that are no really... no yeah no I'm not no, no yeah. this is I'm talking about myself for you specifically yeah. as Clayton yes. yeah, yeah as I was saying like um, I already had this vision a long time ago okay so it was like I didn't want to derive from the plan okay. so um, when cool yeah um, radio I I, don't, I didn't look at myself like I want to be a personality like for for example Harry Panero, yeah, Young yeah, Philly yeah, guys yeah. like that they're doing their thing but it's like that's not me as a person. Oh, okay. So it's like okay that's another dead end. So I was mm. like this is kind of dead. This is a dream. Wow. Cool. We was doing shows of Burner and that, but obviously yeah. pandemic is here now. Mm. There's no shows. Okay. So I'm really looking around and I'm like, bro, what can I really do with this kind of vibe? And it mm. was dead. I, I I felt like I definitely gave up. I would say. Looking back at it, I definitely gave up. I could have been applying a lot of more pressure. Obviously, mm. what really saved me was TikTok. When I got so that opportunity, right. that was oh, like... The yeah, mm. that was like, bro, that was a message to myself. Like, yeah, you were doing the right thing because mm. your experience got you here. Yeah. One, and two, you can now take it to crazy heights. Hey, right. so, yeah. Isn't that... A, that's a blessing, though. Like, a big one, something you weren't even really enjoying, as you realised you mm. weren't enjoying it, is what was like the stairs to get you to yeah, have that yeah, for internship. Sure. Like, yeah, for sure. It's crazy. That's crazy, man. Just had to charge it. All of that was free. Like, <laughs> you know how it was as well at the time? Yeah. Like, I was I was in Knots, in uni, innit? So yeah. from Knots, yeah, I would fly every Friday. Watch out for the mic, though. Is it, what is it? It's a bit higher. I yo, yo. Should put it a bit lower. Do you know, it's because of the table, innit? Ah, oh, wait, hold yeah, on. Let, let me set up. Do no, I it's calm, it's calm. I'll pan it. Yeah? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. As I was saying, yeah. Yeah. Um... What was I even talking about? You were talking you, about... You were flying from not yeah, getting knots. Oh, yeah, so, radio. yeah, so from knots, yeah, radio... We can bring it down a bit. Yeah, knots, yeah, radio... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ah, cool. Right, YBE show was on Wednesdays, if I'm not mistaken, Wednesdays, 5 to 7. Yeah. I'd have uni, my last... My, my official... On Wednesday, we didn't have no uni, so I'd fly Tuesday night, go to London, take a coach... Go, just to go radio for two hours, I wouldn't even speak. I'm literally just shadowing. shadowing. Damn. Then I go go back to Knott's. Thursday, I was host. I used to do events, host events and that. Mm. So I'd fly like Thursday, do whatever I got to do in the Midlands. Then I'm coming back again on Friday, 7 to 9, Rinse FM, Damn Shack. He, I used to actually speak on that show, so I used to put a lot of energy in there because mm. like, I'm there. I used yeah. to speak to people. I met a lot of people there. That was dope. Um, but yeah, like I was doing that constantly and... As well as that, as I was saying, 
I'm not enjoying it. It's not mm, my passion. Nah. It's not what I'm into. But it's like cool. I kind of got to just charge it and like just make it sure I get out of the. Like, that makes sense. And the, you know, <laughs> you to get out of the hood, man. <laughs> bro, that's that's yeah, that's, that's who it is, yeah, bro. Of course, bro. Who's trying to stay? Like, I feel you, bro. Like there's a there's a new generation now. Like our generation, the, the guys that are coming up. Like yeah, I feel like we're really gonna make an influence. No, in I, I feel like this generation, black is culture, not, just yeah. financially breaking barriers. Bro. Like people making hundreds of millions, um, stuff bro, like that. Like there's literally. There's definitely gonna happen for literally about 100%. like look at young people like what below even 22 17 22 Did you follow the numbers game the numbers no, game oh, that's on instagram podcast, no that's it's on instagram it's not a podcast I oh yeah, yeah i do follow the yeah, 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 yeah see, i know too much you see those those type of posts like, yeah yeah that's it that's I, it i look at me, that bro. and i'm like yeah like especially i saw nella rose on there i'm mm. like raw like someone like that the numbers like this last generation, who was you? Who, what black people were really doing that? No, when we was growing up, still. looking at TV, like the only black yeah. person I really remember on TV and growing up who? was Alexandra Burke. Because it was an expert. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. A big platform. Yeah, anyway, like, and you see what I mean? Like, it's just on a. Like, that's a, another like, a topic for me, yeah. but for me, it's mm. like, that's all. That, that's the commercial, like you yeah. said. That's the big leagues. That's yeah, not really. Exactly. You're not touching our culture yeah, I, I, exactly. I looked at her like raw well, there's a black person on yeah, well done tv up, national yeah. tv yeah but it wasn't like you have a you have really have an impact on our culture yeah, fair, someone like nella it? rose yeah. has our culture on exactly. smash from the jump so exactly. when i see her in the positions that she's in and the fact that exactly. how much she's profited of it and the fact that she's exactly. like how prosperous she is of yeah. doing what she's doing right now is like wow yeah. this is real you get this exactly. t- we've never seen this before exactly and look at the impact like to this day we p- see people use her format for, for their youtube videos everyone's doing free yeah, she's, she's, a she's, yeah, a she's a pioneer she's a pioneer literally like even talking on young us young people like growing up here like cool right, cool even harry preneur for example mm-hmm. yeah even though he's a bit older he's not really in our generation him mm. for example still i saw today uh made you think that pager uh, i think he got one bentley or something like that he just, just got it recently i'm like rah but like, yeah, that's that that's that, cold that comes of hard work yeah that's cold thing. but like, like just, you see what i mean like and this is ledge by the yeah, way yeah that's yeah. the thing you see the guys that we looked at that were doing these things yeah. are not guy, like it's not lasting for like we always looked at it like oh this shout out to you but that's yeah. a myth i'm yeah. not on this mm. yeah so it's like Seeing people that are really doing it the exactly. right way, exactly. black people really exactly. elevating themselves, mm. ends, man. and and on top of that, you you really have a connection relationship with your culture, exactly. with the the, the that's community that's that you exactly. built. It's not like separated. Exactly. Like, that's that's why that's a big thing that we care about because like the work that we do and the people we would like to work with and how we wanna be as a as this agency, this entity is like we wanna like have real control not control that's the wrong word but we really have an effect on our culture nah, yeah, we're not we're not separate like you know when someone becomes large that like their name is mm. larger than themselves yeah like, you're not really connected yeah, you're not yeah, the the engagement is not the same like yeah. yeah yeah that, that like you're, you i would say the engagement is more but you're you're gone like i understand you can be gone like for example you're not gonna like this because you're a, you're like a super Tion Wayne fan, isn't it? Yeah. You cool. see Heading One's new video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see just the 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 the, the togetherness. The, yeah, the, what? Yeah, like you, yeah, you've built that. a, that's a that's a yeah like OFB. A, that's an empire. Do you get bro, what I mean? You've literally. built something like, and this is From this the ground is up. so and it's so authentic. Nah. It's so like it's not no like. like nah. Things like I that, you, and you. and on top of that, while you're doing that, you're so connected to your community. Yeah. You ain't changed. You're still like guys, drill yeah, guys, guys in jail, guys are yeah, in the ends nah, are listening to you at the same time and while you know, you're doing that. Exactly, and bro, not to cut you off here, yeah. but literally what you were saying before about you know with the workshop here, yeah, certain mm-hmm. other people you can do this like going to OFB, yeah, like bro. From when we saw Heady, it came to now. Obviously, Abacadabra was already broke when, when he come out of jail. Yes, yeah. When he come out of jail. Yeah. Like, the fact that, one, he stayed out of jail, mm-hmm. that's not easy. Exactly. Especially the position that he's in. Exactly. Not easy, one. Exactly. Two, the, you've, you've not only now bust your hood, because at the time, like, if we're keeping it apart, Abracadabra was not, was not in... A gr- obviously, yeah. he had a robbery, yeah, he yeah, declined. Yeah, yeah, Let's just keep it real, yeah. bro. So, he declined. So, now, you've now put yourself on... You've now bust RV2. All the young G's. You've now bust RV2. Mm. Abra's doing his thing. Now the young There's G's now like young OFB2. Like, yeah, then right. every week I go on Fumes and Engineer. Word. There's a uh, new OFB. member. There's a new <laughs> yeah. member. Like, you get it? Like, 
And people will take them in. That's the you, way out. That's because you, you, you've patterned, you've clocked as a way out. Exactly. And you didn't, he didn't leave everyone behind and say, mm. fuck it. He's mm. like, you know what? I'm mm. going to really make sure everyone is in an executive position exactly. where they can Amen. they can take ownership of the position they're in I'm and facts. actually eat. Word. That's all it's about. It's just about having like vessels in the community that you can pass on. Is that really like just black empowerment, bro? Like, mm. like I, 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 see, I see that the community that we're in, the black community that we're in, the way like I envision it to be is is a thing where it's like the same way you see how we was talking about credit and that yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. me going to a metro or something why can't i go to a bank where uh, there's a the private equity owners like black guys really put piece together and mm. they're actually seeing what you're kind of creating no, and making something of it Do you get it? Yeah, so i feel you bro that's that's the type of things that inspires me that's what i want to like Work towards until mm. then. Just I gotta like keep that. going. Just keep grafting. Man. That's that's, that's what people are can't die, bro. Yeah, man. Like, cause to be honest with you, yeah, a lot of times, yeah, obviously, obviously, you want money, we're right? mm-hmm. human, mm-hmm. But a lot of times, it's like you can kind of tell. Even if someone tries to not make it seem that way, we can tell when someone's money motivated, fam. No, yeah. but yeah, from, like literally from mostly what I've heard, bro, is impacts, bro. But it's in, in, like you see how I look at it with this business is like the money will come. It's not gonna not be there. Like mm. just naturally as you grow, it will be there. Mm. So I'm I'm not chased money a lot. Like yeah. for example, we had a campaign that I was supposed to do yeah. that clashed um with well, I just France. Need to, let me just dust this a bit more because the camera in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah that clashed with um France a lot. Mm. Okay. Um so it would have been a thing where I'd have to go do I'd have to take this book in and go to France on the same day kind of thing. Yeah. But if I took that book in, it, I would have ate, you know what I mean? Mm. And I was just like, I've got to charge it, man. Uh-huh. Like, you know, it is like, it, those type of things will come, man. I don't, like, especially with, I've, I've done, I've spent so many years, like, putting my energy into making money, like, mm. outside of just this, in it? Yeah. So it's like, let me actually just put something positive out there. Mm. The the way it gets received by people already, I can see that it's something that like people will like draw themselves to, will no gravitate facts. towards it. So mm. just when it's time to sign that deal, we'll sign it. But so now, do you think you'll sign a deal someday for real? Like? Yeah, no, but in terms of deal, like depends what you mean, innit? No, obviously like, I, that's a vague question I'll ask yeah. actually. Mm. Okay. Let's just say someone wanted to do a partnership or oh, something. Oh for sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. We've done we've worked on quite a few partnerships. We've partnered with I can't even really announce too many uh, things. Okay, for no, now, okay. but well, if you can announce We've part we've partnered in things in like with fashion, for example, um um Tobes he's doing like we're working on a freestyle show for him because we've noticed okay. that in terms of hip hop DJs there's kind of a gap in the market because Charlie is mm. Tim Tim's mm. not in the game Goodbye. no more Tim's not in the game no more Kenny All Star is Tim is not in the game no that, more. so it's like in terms of hip hop DJs what platform is there you can go apart from Films and Engineer which has kind of established itself as a mm. drill platform yeah. specifically there's not really a platform out there with a DJ that's really has connection and mm. a con- he has an yeah, yeah, DJ with, with, has with, like what I say about impact. the community and mm. like the yeah. culture he's yeah. tied in Yeah. as well as that mm. he's also really into fashion mm. and that worked together perfectly with us because we, we had conversations with a number of brands mm. in terms of like partnering together and putting this out the show out there and how we can actually work on it creatively. But mm. actually, I didn't want to just put the show out there. I wanted to create a merger so we can also have a brand that we fuck with, that we know as well fucks with the community nice. as hard as we fuck with the community. Mm. Nice. So when it's really time to actually put the work in, it's easy. It's a piece okay. of cake. Okay, no, I feel yeah. that. Even yeah. doing your like, you know, we've been doing about yeah. music so much. Yeah, I have to. We have to get into it now, mm. bro. All right, cool. I want to know, yeah, your top four artists, yeah. But two has to be US, yeah. And, and then two, two has to be UK, bro. Gr- gr- like ever, yeah? Yeah, ever. Period. All right, cool. UK, top two, uh, Skepta, number one. I knew it. In my life, I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> the, <laughs> the GOAT. Like, when we talk about UK artists, that like, guys that really done their thing, yeah, yeah. You look at guys that, there's a criteria. Like, cool. What have you done in the UK? Do you have the streets? Mm. Tick ticks the box mm. it's got the streets mm. now cool do you have an impact outside of the uk and the states ticks the box mm. yes it does mm. now it's like cool outside of music what do you do that can really 
keep you relevant? How do you mm. like how how are you culturally relevant? Mm. Fashion, SKS, yeah, yeah, mm. ticks the box, yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. bro, you remember when he, that guys were wearing Giuseppe's and that he started wearing t shirts yeah. and like you everyone, yeah, everyone dashed that shit. Away. I know, bro, Word. stuff like that. Bro, that man, in terms of branding as well, on a branding yeah. aspect, why I respect him so much, the yeah. guy had a SIM card platform, bro. Wow. They had a BBK line, bro. <laughs> they swear. I didn't bro. even know that, bro. Facts. I remember he's got a boy who's like, if my O2's offering me on my BBK line, that's that man cold. used to have a, yeah, they used to have a that's BBK cool. line. That's yeah. cool. Like, uh, even with the Eskimo hats, bro. Yeah, yeah. word, word. Everyone's like, wearing them hats. Like, like, cool. Mama, and it's 20 years deep now. 2025 is about to be 20 years straight rapping. He's mm. ready. He used to produce DJ and like, it's been mm. 20 years. Mm. Shout out to him, number one. Nice. Mm. Um, you, you I'm per, this is bias in it. J Hoss straight is hardest. Oh, how comes? Time. How comes? He's just the hardest, bro. Yeah, like straight. Yeah. Uh, Free J Hoss. Don't man. work as much. He, he's in jail. No, 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 no. He doesn't mean he's in jail. What the label situations going on? No, Free right, yeah, no, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um, God forbid. Yeah, that's UK out the way. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, America, Young Fog. I knew it. Young Fog and Future, bro. Straight. I actually knew it, bro. Like literally, it's in my notes. Like, <laughs> another guy I look up to straight on just what they've built is Young Fug. Like Young Fug. in terms of YSL, like bro, my man. Do you guys listen to Young Fug like that? Nah, bro. Oh, yeah, so cool. He, he had an album called Slam Language yeah. Two last year. Went number one. That album is just guys from his ends. He put on Gunna. Bruh. Put on Little Baby. Taught him how to rap. Yeah, he even paid him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like he's to he's been on that. Yeah, and then on top of that, bro, his girls on the his girls on, got songs now. He's put her on the on That's the album. Cold. Guys from the ends that just just like he fucks with, he's put them on. It's, cold. it's like fam, like you're you, you was in a position where you could have really got out the end time ago. You could have went to yeah. LA and hid in the hills, bro. I'm Stayed in Atlanta, bye, bye. built a community, like really made sure everyone could eat. Word. I respect that. And Word. on top of like been ten years in the games, mm. you know, yeah. future is all like as undeniable, isn't it? Like yeah, future is actually I don't listen to him, but bro, I think I think future like like if I start saying things, you guys are gonna call me crazy. Nah, bro. Like, I've got, I'm, I love crazy. In terms of all time top five, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got I've got Jay Z number one. All right, cool. No, scrap that. I got Fifty Cent number one. Yeah. Jay Z. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Fifty Cent. Okay, I know. <laughs> no, no wait, I'm wait. being real. I'm being real. Wait. Fifty Cent number one. Wait, the thing is, because I have different criteria. Yeah, well. yeah, that's the thing. I know for you is is beyond just music, isn't it? No, but if we're talking music, music Fifty Cent can't be number one. Just music. He is because you know why? It's about how he's aged and how he's influenced the next generation. Fair enough. Because that how many guys like we can go from Pop Smoke, we can go from Fair UK J yeah. Hoss guys like that. Yeah. That like, you can see Fifty, you can hear Fifty Cent. No, hundred percent. Like. That alone. Then if you go to his albums, the massacre yeah. till this Get day, that that no trying. skips. Yeah. Get rich or die trying. Listen yeah. to the right. age like wine. Fair enough. I'm sorry. It's uh, number one in my enough. list. You know, on your list, who 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 do you have number one? Whatever, Nas, yeah. bro. Nas, Nas album aged like bread, bro. Well, what album? It was. All of them. Don't be. Don't be. I fuck with all mine. I fuck with all mine. But that's Broski. That's all mine, guys. No, but that's Illmatic, of course. Yeah, like, bro, put that aside. That's not. He no. didn't make one album. He's been rapping for thirty years. Yes. Come on, dog. Besides Illmatic, them beats, the beat bro, selection. Come slow on, slow down, dog, slow down. Alright, cool, slow down. I know you be watching Vlad TV. Imagine the beat selection. <laughs> the beat selection bro, is ass, bro. No, alright, cool. Like, what? Let's be real. No, no, Illmatic. Oh. Just Nas's discography in no, general. No, no, his beat selection that. is not no, good. No, no, no. You know but the beat. Beat selection. I slightly agree with you that some of his beats. I'm like, what is 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 straight like. Like the thing with with Nas, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I I respect Nas's yeah, music, yeah. but Ma- Nas's game is more so like boom bap. I'm rapping lyrical miracle. Like obviously I fuck with that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not bars. So much, not it's, so much. It's just straight bars, though. Yeah, Do yeah. You get what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's there's so much more to like in terms of making records. Yes. Like like you can rap. Being a rapper and being a, an artist is two different things. Yes, hundred percent. I agree. As an with you. artist, yes. I've got 50 cent higher than Nas. As a lyricist, I respect why you've got Nas there. As an artist, okay, wait, wait. no. I want to break things down. Like, I, just the, the ability to make hooks, stuff bro, like that. I, I, the, yeah, your your beat selection. Yeah. Like, yeah, go on. No, but this is the thing. Okay, cool. First of all, I just want to say, this I want to say before. Mm-hmm. Besides Illmatic, we had another album. It was written. It was written. Cold. cold fire. Yeah, it's, it's, we had, it's okay. We had another album. No, it's um, okay. Ah, you need, okay, now, like, amazing, also, man. as I was saying, in terms of my criteria, yeah, okay, I judge, okay, okay. I judge, true, yeah, true, true. I also that's judge. Like, I'm, when I'm we, no, no, when we, talk, I'm sure when, we talk, when we talk about the music, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the time that that was released. Okay. It was written, came out, what, 1996, bro? 96. Yeah. He was not top five rappers in, in the world. What are you? Facts. 
Stop it, Facts. man. Facts. He was top five in 96. Yeah. Stop it. Firstly, firstly, Pack and Big were dominating. Are you hearing? Yeah. <laughs> all eyes on me. Ninety six. Ninety six. Ninety six. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. Double this. Pack and Big were top five, bro. What are you saying? Broski, Broski, hear me out. Okay. I'm fucking big, yeah. It yeah. all eyes on me. Yeah, it was was the double disc, by the way. Okay, that came right. out yeah, two yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, yeah. straight. Yeah, alright. Um, ninety six, yeah. The Junior Mafia album came out. Biggie, okay. like he had that wave on Smash. Yeah, he was like there was no, no debate. C's, there no was no de- there was no debate that Biggie was the king of New York. Hundred percent. No debate. No, was not. Biggie. On top of that, Reasonable he Doubt came out in nineteen ninety six. Yes. Okay. The dead presidents, all of that. Yeah, so Jay Z. Yeah, come okay, on. Yeah. Now that's free. That's really free. So you said Jay Z, Biggie, uh, Two Pac. All right, cool. And then Wu Tang. Okay. We're not doing. We're not gonna. We're gonna forget about no, Wu Tang. No, no. Well. You know they done that thing of the cream. I'll, I'll, I'll say he was top five. I'll say he's fourth. Thank you. I'll say he's fourth. Say. I'll say he's fourth. But then now you're saying like when Fifty Cent, when when the massacre. That's his second album. Yeah. When the massacre dropped. Yeah. 1 million, 1.2 million first week, bro. Okay. CDs. Guys okay. have to go line up in the store okay. and buy that. Yeah. Bro, number one artist, undisputed. No Big one time. is saying anyone. Big time. Bro, Nas was fourth. No. <laughs> like, Wait. you see what I mean? All right, that's your opinion. <laughs> but, but he was fourth, though. It's facts. All right, cool. But you see with 50 Cent, yeah. Like, all right, cool. We can talk about results all day. But F that for now. There you go. But the G unit hype alone. That was a mad thing, bro. Back yeah, then, was. when I saw the G, even me, I got a top, bro, at six years old, fam. Because I'm thinking this guy, is, <laughs> like, that G unit hype, I feel like that alone yeah. helped so much. And But that's the hype that he created. And yeah, also, no, 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 of course, of organically, course. Bro. Organically, he's, organic. the, he's the, like, why I've got him so high, yeah, yeah. is because he's the founder of mixtapes, bro. Like, mm. mixtapes was a really? thing that DJs would make. Okay. Like, they would make their little mixes, but when he really? was, like, he, he was mentioning earlier about his um, deal with Columbia Records yeah, yeah, and that. Yeah. So the problem was that um, Jam Master J died, yeah, got killed, yeah. and a lot of like labels were spooked because of Prem and them, man. Yeah. So my man decided to take matters into his own hands because they weren't letting him release music. He was yeah. releasing mixtapes, putting yeah. them in the streets yeah, himself. Yeah, streets, bootlegging. Guys yeah, were not yeah. doing that. Yes, yes, he, yes. He created that wave. Um, uh, that that led to a whole... Leave yeah, that, like, um, the, the LimeWire game, the whole... Yeah. The reason why we're in streaming, yeah. in the streaming world right now mm, yeah. stems from the creation and, of and those mixtapes. Let's not forget Ghetto, Ghetto Quran as well, bro. Bro, you see, stuff like that, Ghetto yeah, Quran. Right, cool. I'll give it like, to him on that. Line, stuff like yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that. That's all mixtape era. That's him. That's yeah. his buzz. Then the G Unit also built their hub of the mixtape. Exactly. From I'm, that, you have to be the go. Okay. You know what? And by the <laughs> like, way, literally, just for context here. By the way, if people don't know what the Ghetto Quran is, yeah, it's basically a song Fifty Cent made. Yeah, just dissing almost every single rapper in the industry at no, the like, time. That's how to rob. That's how like, to rob. Oh, how to rob? Get, sorry. Get, get, get yeah, Quran yeah, is, the, yeah, yeah. is the one that got him in trouble. How to rob? Sorry. That. How to rob? Sorry. Yeah. But even that, I meant to say how to rob. Sorry, not Ghetto Quran. But how to rob every single rapper. You could think of Jay Z. Even that, that's supermarketing, Even, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. that's, that's how you get And Jay Z responded as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but yeah, fam. Yeah, okay, sure. so you're saying Nas fourth. All right, cool. But I'm gonna now ask you now. Going back to the top four before, yeah. Yeah. You have to pick one US and one uh, UK artist. Who are you picking out of that top four from uh, before? Uh, See, I remember you said Young Thug. Uh, she's an out of Fog and Future is crazy, man. Fuck. Yeah, um, I need to hear this. I'm gonna say Future. Future. I'm gonna say future. Alright, cool. What about UK? Bro? Um UK Skepta. It's gonna be Skepta still. I knew it. it had to be Skepta. It, it's gotta be mm, do you know what, yeah? I've been listening to Skepta more and more recently yeah. still. That's why I would have not said them, but past couple of weeks I've been banging them out again still. Yeah. Alright, cool. You know what, yeah. I just wanna ask you now a few questions in regards to uh in regards to different artists, whether there's UK or the US in mm-hmm. there. So cool, obviously it's a quick fire round now, boom. So if we're gonna pick between Chris Brown or Usher, who you picking? Usher. Why? Bro, like it's it's undeniable, bro. You get like my man's like discography is crazy, man. J Huss or Dave or Dave. Huss man by far. I swear. By far still as an artist, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, NBA young boy or little baby. Baby. I swear. In fact, no, I'll, I'll, pick, I'll pick Baby still. I don't listen to... But you see, young, you see boy, so young Boy, yeah. Young Boy has potential to be like... One of the... Like, he can have the wave. The, like, he can have the generation on Smash. You remember yeah, that does, run that yeah, Lil Wayne and had, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Like, like from like, 04 to... Like, no, yeah, 05 yeah. to like, 2012. Yeah. That little Lil Wayne run. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. Like, I have all the guys in the game right now, I see, I see him having that store. Because yeah. he's, he's all... Like, 
that coat that he has, it's crazy. Yeah, no, young boy, like literally, you can yeah. see another rapper posting a burger or something like, oh, YB, and you need to realize, YB's my man, better. yeah, and my man doesn't even do like artist stuff. He's not doing he interviews. He's not going and rolling loud. He's not yeah, doing all the, exactly. like. So it's like when he gets to the point where he gets his shit so patterned that yeah. he's on that, it's gonna be crazy. And it's, but the thing it's is, over. he's. I feel like he's already has a generation by far. Bro. No, no, he's got, like, a, he's got a, by far. Do you know what it is it? He's got guys, but I don't know if he has the streets. I think little baby has the streets. The I balance. feel like, yeah, yeah. Like the, the type of things your brain digests is important. Like me, I like to switch it up. I listen to like, I listen to a lot of blues, like Smokey Robinson and that. Okay. Uh, MJ always, like um, what's my man's name, bro? From um, everybody likes the sunshine, dude. Oh, dude, I've heard that. I'm I'm listening. Listening. I know it's I don't know the guy's name. Uh, uh, Withers, something Withers, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know, but yeah, I like shit like that. I like to mix things up because. The, the the type of things you the type of music you digest it really controls you. No, of course, you don't bro. realize there's it. literally a science to that. Yeah, like, you know that you know that little star dog the star dog and drill gen. <laughs> that, that you know remember when 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 Mizzle Mac and that were running the oh, end, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's when guys started really smoking weed yeah, on age, bro. <laughs> fucked up the street. Guys started experimenting with acid and that. That's yeah, how it started, like, bro. Oh like, seventeen. <laughs> I remember the <laughs> old old fourteen slash fifteen to like old sixteen slash. Um, 17 times yeah those times were very 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 mad I remember everyone playing Harlem Spartans that kind of drilled there mm. the influence is mad but obviously I've got one more one more question for the quick round thing isn't it this is a big one Nas or Biggie bro I was gonna say Biggie, Biggie man bro. bad of bad thought like I've got <laughs> like I didn't even tell you my top 5 my top 5 is crazy I get into arguments all the yeah, time innit? Right, cool. at 50 I've got 50 I've only got Jay Z over Biggie right, because cool. Like longevity, in it, like uh, nah. yeah, big, big, big rap for for three years, isn't it? Yeah, like, but more time you can't really go in too deep in that conversation because in a way, obviously, my man died, didn't it? So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But oh, like, okay, okay, that, that's why I can't really put him there. Like for that's kind of my silver lining with my next person on the All list, right, cool. Young Fug. Mm. I've got him. I've got him third because my man, in terms of influence generations bro he's given just the the, the young fuck the fact that gunners and now in the mix little babies in the mm, mix mm. the influence he has in atlanta all of that yeah. also looking about like his artistic journey he was in a deal with gucci man I from mean. gucci man he went to rich gang a lot of guys on rich gang rich homie was on rich gang soldier mm. boy was on rich gang he was he, like from rich gang he's built his own thing now mm. the YSO label mm. and then mm. that label is now brought guys they've got multiple number one mm. stuff like that i look at that and i'm like Gotta be got, that's goated. Yeah, how that's you good. like how you influence fashion culture I was like, say that. like bro I was drip say that. drip yeah. comes from them man bro yeah, drip like, slap, I can't like, like Gunner's drip for example Ugh, it's so immaculate yeah, bro. Yeah, but, but like you see the way like the, the way we even say drip mm. slime guys care about guys rock mm -hmm. Balenci's guys rock all of these mm -hmm. guys no one gave a fuck before these man that's fast, bro. so that's why I've got him there. What's that third? Uh, yeah, that's third. I've got two pack fourth. I've got yeah. I've got for go off two packs still. Yeah. Once again, like longevity for me. Also, the silver lining for Young Fug as well is because now, like a lot of guys in the music thing, for your story to really be told, it kind of has to have an ending. It's a shame. That's guys like, for example, Biggie and Tupac and uh, stuff yeah, like that. The yeah. reason why they're so, they're immortalized is because their careers got cut short. Yeah, so that, yeah. That's I, I know that at the yeah. peak as well. Yeah, that's yeah, you get it. So that's the thing. I that's the silver that. lining. Now his story can get told a bit better, mm. but it was a shame that man's in jail. Nah, Tupac fourth. Uh, he's fifth. I want to hear he's fifth. Who yeah, did I say? Imagine Future, yeah. No, nah, Future, yeah. Future, future. fifth. Though. Right, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play. Fair yeah, play. yeah it's wild. I don't know, but it's, it's what it is, man. Right, cool. Fair play. And oh, go you know ahead, bro. And you know what also I want to say as well now, taking it back to... Celsius Europe now. Mm -hmm. cool. If you could give like two pieces of advice here yeah, to anyone who may want to start their own marketing agency, yeah. maybe they might have the confidence. Maybe they're like, ah, I don't know, I'm over thinker. I don't know. Mm. Like, what would you tell them, bro? Mm, uh, make sure you you've you really assessed every possible scenario. Oh, Mike, by the way, Just, you've know. assessed yeah. every possible scenario that could be like from all the type of things that can be made available from you like if people are needed certain things what can you actually offer them build your mm. team before you've actually put made people know about your team mm. okay yeah like before before you've registered for the league like make sure your team has enough numbers guys on the bench mm. you get Makes stuff sense. like that um i'd say that's number one yeah number two like fuck everyone don't look at people 
and think. Thank you. No, I think that's probably that's that's. No. <laughs> just fuck <laughs> everyone. Me. Don't. No one cares. No one yeah, cares. Don't, Nobody don't cares. think. Oh fuck! Like this might not be. This well, might, might be bars. Oh, this like people are gonna think I'm low. It's not even yeah, banging. Bro. Chill like that. Um, don't look at other people. Like I, I used to hate. Going on other like agencies' pages, yeah, because I'm what? like, this one. I used to, because I, the way I am, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm so like, I'll pre so hard, I mm. really wanna. Or you like, zoom in? No, not even zoom in, but oh. like, I'm following every single person that's, like, I'm following everyone that does agencies. I'm follow, I'm putting notifications so. on. I'm pre in everything you guys do, and then I'm like, it got to a point when it's like, oh damn, like, cause these man, why am I pre in you guys? Let me focus on myself, kind of thing. Still. So that's why I'd say fuck everyone. But yeah, that's, that's oh, pretty much it, man. To get what you want, you have to fuck everyone, bro. Yeah, literally. Yeah. You can't be, you can't be pause, fearful. Pause like, that. Oh. that sounds good. Like. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say yeah. it because I kept it, saying it. Pause indeed, pause indeed, but like, in, you have to have do in a sense like, oh, this person uh, don't care about what I do. So uh, it's facts, bro. But obviously, thank you for coming. Shout out your shit. Hold on, oh, hold on. Bro. We got to slow down one second. What? <laughs> that's what to say, bro. We, we, we can't forget the question, bro. What question? All right, cool. Five years from now, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Five years from now. Mm. Okay, cool. Looking at you as Clayton and Celsius Europe, where do you see yourself Five and Celsius, Celsius Europe being? Where do you see that? Five years. Like, you look at the camera as well, because this is going to be you watching this when you're what? 27? Well, yeah, yeah, cool. 2027, mm. August the 6th, I'm going to be walking in Monaco, cooling, chilling, you feel me? Mm. Nice relax- relaxation Amen. before my birthday, you know? Mm. You know, we would have just closed a nice deal. Yeah, man. You know, made made the business a nine figure business. Nice. Not even seven or eight. Nine, nine two hundred and fifty oh, wow. M's. Amen. Feel me? Mm. Like we we'll have we we'll have that sorted for us. You know, there'll be there'll be so many people that work for the company as well that are doing like have such a, a positive effect on their community. Mm. Um, we'll be a, a vessel in not only. Barking and Dagenham, our community, but like outside of that, mm. doing so many things to just push people into like if it's not cr- a creative path, but a path where you know, okay, I could do something with myself that takes me out of my environment, and it's like we're known for that, we're renowned for that, um, and yeah, just just literally, hopefully, we'd be a lot closer to like Rock Nation and that for sure. Mm. Like, I mean, what, they've got a UK team as well, yeah. isn't it? I don't even know that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah they, they got do, Rock so. Nation UK as well. Yeah, bro, that's so. dope. But yeah, like it's very just, possible. Just literally waking the steps towards that, really. But yeah, five years from now will be completely different. Cause five, I was looking back, like I'm just thinking now, five years ago, yeah, twenty seventeen is when I first started my mm. actual journey. Isn't that anyway, crazy? so yeah, um, man, five years from now for sure, it'll definitely it be mad. Um, also, I want to ask you another thing as well. Looking back at seventeen year old Claire, I'm mm-hmm. hungry. Hungry, just wanting to get through the door. What advice would you give him, bro? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Still, um, for sure. Mm. I was I, I always knew I was on the precipice of something dope, but I didn't really, I didn't really know I was doing the right things or not. Mm. And I always had that little voice in my head, like, "Oh, this is not good enough. This ain't this." What Don't made you this. push that away? Like, yo, just let me focus. I know there's this voice here, but let me just do my thing. Uh, you know. There was one girl I used to chat to. I was dope. <laughs> she used yeah. to keep me grounded. They swear. Yeah, man. Pick up G, man. She's dope. Right, God bless yeah, her. Still. But I... Yeah. What, what were you saying before? No, like, social media? all good, man. All right, cool. All right, we have it from here. How did Clayton, bro? Do you want to pick up your socials or pick up anyone? Celsius Europe, Instagram, LinkedIn. You're right there. TikTok. Uh... Me, cb one Billy, Instagram. Right Clayton, there. Wakanga, LinkedIn. Lovely. Yeah, man. Alright, cool. Celsius to the world, free I'm of charge back. to the world. I'm no, brother. You feel me? Shouldn't even be free of charge. You should be charging people. <laughs> <laughs> Word. I, I love no, that, brother. fam. I love that, fam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Anything you want next coming from us, let us know. Let us know the DMs. Alright, stay blessed. Peace.